Okay. Let's try to cut that time in half. That was a long run. A little long. So let's see. Let's see. Three elites. Crazy. What a doozy. See you later, Octostar. Poker player? Is that, is that a recent one, huh? Yeah, I gotta check out some of the new mods. Here's some good things. Well, the paths are kind of sucky here. Well, like most things with uh, Act 1, you're, you're prioritizing damage. So t is no different. You want to prioritize damage, get your like some nice front loaded, and you want to maximize elites. So here, I guess the best thing for me to do is like two elites. Campfire elite, campfire elite. A lot of hallway fights, but like, it's just because you want to get elites. Taking campfire, campfire, shop, campfire, campfire, no elites feels like crap. And then taking campfire, elite, elite, sparkle with all these hallway fights and no campfire in between, it feels suicidal. Like sometimes if you have a perfect run or a really strong run, you probably want to maximize all these elites and get the sparkle out of the way. But in a more rational world, you're probably taking Campfire Elite, Campfire Elite, one of these paths, and try to maximize with two elites and some upgrades. And that's just what's going to be, what's going to happen here. Take care, Jack. You want to see Slay the Shimmer? We, don't slay the sh we can do Slay the Shimmer again at some point, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I think Cool Head is like not that good for Act 1. Because the card draw and the energy is a little bit awkward. Super Beam for AoE is pretty damn good. Uh, things Ball Lightning is super good in Act 1. Ball Lightning, Streamline. I mean, just looking for damage, right? So we'll see right now. I think we're going to take the 18 damage for Rare Relic. It's a little unfortunate, but it's... Oh, shit. Okay, so this dramatically changes how you play the class. When you get an early dead branch, on defects in particular, I th think, and from my experience is you're looking for recycle and you just do a recycle deck and let deep dead branch carry the wheel and more often than not it's just kind of just steamrolls everything recycle dead branch is just really good uh so i think taking recursion and chaos are really bad cards act one i probably never take them act one if you're taking recursion and chaos act one yeah i would stop doing that don't take recursion recursion chaos act one so recursion look at it this way uh Especially if it's not upgraded, you don't have enough focus to get value out of it. So recursion is really low value and really bad, hard to draw into. Act 1, you'd rather have cold snap, ball lightning. Recursion requires you, like, it's useful as like a thing to incorporate into darkness to help keep the darkness going, but it also becomes much more useful when you have a uh, focus to make it meaningful. And also, when you think of loop, like later on, you think about things with loop, you want to dictate what gets looped or... You have card draw, so you can kind of justify the zero-cost recursion of all for one. Like, there's different situations for it, but a naked recursion act one is really low value. Claw, I wouldn't take claw either. I wouldn't take claw. <laughs> I want to preserve my life because I took so much damage getting this rare relic, so I'm trying to be super defensive. So option is just a really good, um, really good energy efficient block. Bam. So upgrade, I guess we could upgrade the early zap. Now you could try to transform and try to get something cheeky and janky for this dead branch stuff. Transform a strike. That's totally possible. Upgrading zap. It's also not bad. You feel like... The defect is the hardest character? I don't think so. I think defect has a lot of tools. Well, defect is... Here's the thing with defects. The defect has a lot of tools, but sometimes, uh... You, follow, you find yourself relying on some... Like, certain runs rely on RNG. Like, the creative eye runs and stuff like that, but... Nah... The, maybe, maybe defect is probably... Though. Okay, maybe it's a little bit harder than the other classes. I could see that, actually. Like, in terms of strict win rate, I think Ironclad... Definitely beats it. And I think Silent definitely beats it. 
So defect is one of the worst. Yeah, one of the worst for Century 20. But it's not by a huge margin. It's not by a huge margin. I think the Saturn has so many tools that just kind of really trivialize the heart. As you guys kind of saw Reform and Malaise and stuff like that. And Piercing Wills. And Poison. And those things come up often enough and consistent enough that it kind of trivializes the heart. I think the Saturn has that ability pretty easily. And I think the Iron Clad is really consistent. And I think Watcher, if the proper play of the Watcher, if you can bring together everything in terms of like crazy offense and the defense, probably definitely stronger than Defect. So I can agree with your statement. Alright. Upgrade to random cards. I've already lost so much life for the Dead Branch. I don't. I, as I'm standing right now, I don't really have that much compensation to do this elite. Right? If I rest, okay, let's say I rest. The upgrades here, like, I'm looking for something for grab, grab the Knob. I want, like, a Ball Lightning or Streamline or just some, some kind of damage, any damage. I guess the shop could help dictate and give me some insurance. Sure. Strike Plus is pretty fine. Uh, so Sunder is like decent damage. Against the Gremlin Knob, I would say probably not, but against the Triple Centuries and Lag of Olden, I mean, actually, I guess Sunder on upgraded is not the best tool for these elite fights. Excel is mostly in Triple Century. Triple Century is already trivialized by Dead Branch. Triple Century is already trivialized by Dead Branch here. So, I would look towards potions first. So I'm looking, can any of these potions help me kill this fight? I think Explosive Pot has some value for Triple Century, but I think it's trivialized by Dead Branch already. So the, the two hardest ones for right, right now are gonna be Lagavulin and Gremlin. And I think the biggest threat is Gremlin Nub. So, we're looking for things that can help Gremlin Nub. And I think Explosive Pot doesn't quite cut it. Attack Pot is way too random. The Dexterity Pot is not what you're looking for, Gremlin Nub. So now at that point, you're looking to maybe just remove. So if we remove, um, I guess a Gremlin, you probably want to remove Defend for Gremlin. So we just get more attacks and have Zap and hope for the best. And whatever Ascender's Bang gives me from Dead Branch. Or you just remove a Strike, make the deck overall better. Sure, we have a lot of block for Gremlin Nub. Deck's still pretty bad. I mean, we have Zap and some Strikes, but we really don't have the damage for Gremlin Nub. Uh, so this is kind of unfortunate. I think this event has to save us. If we get Gremlin Knob, we're probably dead. I think if we're looking at what is the biggest threat to us, Gremlin Knob is the biggest threat, so removing Defend makes the most sense. And we have Auto Shields and two Defense. Okay, well... And moving forward, you want to move a Strike. So here's why you want to move a Strike. Because it's, it's really easy. I mean, I say that, but I haven't found it. But generally, it's really easy to find offensive cards, right? Like a cheeky ball lightning or a, a rip and tear or a, just anything. Any any attack offense card. So you remove a strike because you'd rather have any other offensive card over the strike. And having that damage or having that block profile with the defense is pretty nice. Especially against the Guardian. I guess the biggest dilemma is just Gremlin up. So I'm making my decision based off that. And I just think attack block could give me some nice tempo based attack. And could give me something crazy. I guess I could take attack pot. That's like the best insurance for the out of all these potions. The only problem is it's inconsistent, but it's better than nothing. And I think the second thing we might do is take hologram if we do that, because at least a hologram is pretty decent dead branch. Although it's not that good of cost for money. Hmm. There's also a world where hologram brings back zap or recur or something that I missed from dead branch. But yeah, the biggest insurance here is attack pot. I think we're moving. I would like to move a strike, but that's not smart for right now. There's also the world where we don't grab the knob, you know? I could just remove a strike anyways and, not, and hope that I could grab the knob. It's not the best way to go about it, but there's still an event here and there's still a rest. And if, worst case scenario, I, I remove a strike and I rest, can I beat the grab the knob with this deck and whatever Ascender's Bane gives me? I think with the strike strikes and the zap and the dual cast, we can just barely do it with the weak pot. I think we have enough damage with the wouldn't be ideal though. So I'm gonna take some insurance. 
Okay, so like, and we're back in a situation where like. If I had a card 10 more damage, I could get gold here and I would do that. But losing 7 HP, we're, we're, we're already kind of low on HP. I think we just want to leave because our HP is so important. We, once we get past this fight, then we're kind of free to breathe. Obviously, we're moving is really good for the future of the run, but I think we're in a situation where we just have to maximize how much health we have here. Because it was going to bring me down to 18 plus with the rest. And we do have attack bot. We did buy that. And it is really important to remove strikes here. I think Gurlin is going to be really scary, unfortunately. But we're going to take a risk. So we would have... Okay, this fight is not that easy for us either. I'm not trying to make it seem like this fight is... Oh, but so, oh, what the hell? So they're giving us reprogram. So I think that I could do, I could do two strength through dexterity. I could do hologram and program now and get two strength through dexterity, and my orbs won't do anything. But the beauty of this fight is that orbs kind of are really good for this fight. So technically, we could do two strength through dexterity as like having a strength pot and dexterity pot, and we could try to win the fight off the base, basis of that alone. I kind of want to split here because next turn I have an auto sense, which is a pretty efficient block. I want to use that. Uh, so I think streamline is going to be our damage here. I think I'm going to streamline hologram streamline to start off the fight. I think we're program is just going to be a dead draw. And next turn we have auto shield. The multi guys is not bad. I mean, multi guys actually be a nice little finisher. But yeah, I want, want to split just because auto shield's a thing. And I can go ahead and weaken as well. And I want to maximize as much damage as I'm doing, so I'm going to attack yet again. Taking 4 damage is not that big of a deal. And Shinman's already kind of doing his thing, so... Multicast is only doing 24 damage, which is pretty decent. But not quite taking me there. So we took in total 14 damage in this fight, which is okay. I do 8 now, but if I pass, I have 3, and then 3 next turn, and then on the next turn after that, I have 3 again. So already 9. I think I'd rather keep the passive here. Okay, so we took 14 damage in this fight. And now Rebrookham comes as an offer. Reprogram. Okay. Well, I'm not taking that. Unfortunately, I think Reprogram is just a really badly designed card. I think it's a really badly designed card. I think it's just missing the point. Trying to give you strength and dexterity and losing focus is just missing the whole tempo point of the whole thing. You can't really utilize that efficiently. It's just really bad. This card is poorly designed, actually. I'm not, I, Baron, I'm not doing it. No, Baron, I'm not doing it. Baron, come on, dude. There's, okay, I'll go out and say on record, there's one card I will never take, currently, is reprogram out of every card in the game. And that's the one card you chose. So I'm a principled man, right? My principles here is like, I'm just not taking that card. I My mean, all principles are also saying I'm respecting your 5,000 germs. No, I just think reprogram is. Like, I think it shouldn't be in the game right now, in the current state, and it needs to be redesigned. So technically, he didn't pick a card because the, the card to me doesn't exist. But anyways, look at look at the other options. I'll, I'll refund you, Baron. Please, Baron. This card doesn't exist to me. I tried. I tried to love it. Didn't work out. It, it, it's it's really shit, man. It's really shit. It's really, really shit. This thing bears fine, but we have way too much block. We need... Uh, okay, so... If we're... <laughs> Here's the meme brain, alright? I'll tell you what the meme brain is telling you.
here's the meme brain. Let me, let me, let's fantasize for a little bit. Okay, so fantasize is like, if we get recycle, meteor strike is a pick. Okay, let's stop fantasizing. I actually have to rest again for the second elite. And though we do have insurance for the triple centuries, 50% chance we just win. And 50% chance is going up. Fuck. So like, remember that time where... Oh! Okay, FGO helps. And this lightning should help. And... Mercury Aglash should help. And the center's main could help. Uh, so 16 damage now is worth it. So the problem with your program, guys, is that like you're losing focus and then you're gaining strength and dexterity, which you then have to apply by using cards that cost energy. And you see the problem there is that you're getting such a paltry amount of strength and dexterity, which is already varied. And it's not one thing; it's varied. You have poor ways to dump strength already on the defects, you know, and then you're spending energy on these cards for that small amount. Whereas the orb is in focus. You have an orb. You get three or two focus. And you passively get that with no extra energy cost required from you if the orbs are already in place. So the value is immense. The value is immense. The whole other side of defect with reprogram and all this like you just don't have the energy and the tempo to like get strength and dexterity in reprogram this case and then also play cards. It just doesn't make sense. You don't have time for that. It's just not good. I've tried. It's just not good. Genetic algorithm. What a doozy. The idea is to have plasma. That's the idea, right? But I'm saying the ideas are, need to be re thought about. Because I think the. So we have lethal, anyways. Uh, we have Genji lethal, so we just want a full block. And we're saving life by full blocking here, yeah? As long as I block more than four, I'm saving life. So the cool decks are Calipers, Chemical X, Reinforced Body. Yeah, those are cool decks. And that's Calipers' job to pop off. Reprogram is just a small little thing that is there that may or may not help you, but it's Calipers doing the lifting. Unless you didn't have Calipers and you have Chemical X and Meteor Strike. Okay, that's probably crazy. But uh, yeah, so as long as more than four block, we're... we're we're gaining block, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next time we have, so we have six now, and then next time we have lethal. Okay, so we... So that was like kind of a bad act one. We made the best out of a bad situation. We got a rare relic. We did two elites. We got some relics. So like, we have a decent strength level right now from Act 1. It could have been better. I could be healthier. I could have more upgrades. I had to fight all of these hallway fights with this much life. It's scary. And we're probably thinking about white noise with dead branch and also free power. Like, I'm probably taking that. But we get through these hallway fights, which may be kind of hard. Okay. I get the idea and why it's there. It's th Wait, so we dead branch because we get self repair, right? Oh, we can't do that anymore. That's right. We've learned our lesson. Reprogram it. I need you to get out. Alright, but um. So we that, that was a free hallway fight. Okay. Loop versus chill. Now, chill gives me frost, which is nice. I want some frost. It's very nice to have frost. Plus, we get dead branch off of it. So it doesn't feel as bad of playing it. Now, loop is very good as well. Very good power. But I'll take a chill. 
And look at that. Now we got Amplify. Fight's over. So we need damage. I sexually identify as Loop. What's up, Dagon? Dagon, Loop, Crow. Oh, uh, so rebound, we just need damage. I think you rebound just to get some extra damage and do some things with rebounds. I need something. So we get the second hallway fight with no damage. That's not bad. So we just gotta survive one more hallway fight, potentially two, without taking damage, and then internal fight what heals us, and then we're gonna get an upgrade. And we got out of Act 1, and I think our strength level is pretty good. Nice, that's a very good relic as well. So we gotta survive this. This guy's a limit. This guy's kind of an asshole right now. I wish I had more damage. Oh man. Coffee? Uh, do we need a coffee? O'clock. Doom doom doom. Do 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 Alright. Potion, please. Hey, charge bat. Okay, so ball lightning is the offense we're looking for. That is a nice little bit of extra damage. So now we have decent block and we have some decent damage. I feel kinda happy. Now charge battery is also kinda nice. Pretty good block card. It helps with some energy in certain cases. But I think we're leaning towards ball lightning here for the damage. And then we're gonna not ah, 15 HP is a little low. Can I disrespect the guardian here? So currently we're kind of this is what defect does is that there's a world with dead branch and white noise from and the, the exhaust from the hologram show and from the white noise and from the center's bane. Those are four cards plus the fifth card from the white noise. Those are five cards I can't account for. There's a world where those one of those five cards or any of all those five cards really make the fight kind of trivial and kind of help me out, right? And we can kind of manage this fight without resting. And that's just a, a whole world that I can't really tell you what's going to happen, but could be good, could be bad. More than often than not, it's good for us. More often than not, that's really good for us. So 15 life means I do have explosive pot to help dictate damage, and we do have some decent damage we added with ball landing rebound and strike plus. I think we can get away with disrespecting him. I think we can get away with disrespecting him. The disrespect is like gonna be cutting it really close. I think we have good block. In this deck. I think I'm not worried about the block. Do I have weaken? The damage is doable in the first turn at least. The first two turns I think I have the damage that's doable. It's after the fact with 15 life. Do a bag of marbles, keep that in mind. Like I think I've rested so much already in Act 1. If I rest again, this is setting myself up for failure for Act 2. So I need to get some uh Some greed going here. Genetic. That's what I'm about. That's what I'm about. We got a bullseye and genetic. What do we got from here? Ooh. Okay, so we're down to 10 life. Okay. Cool. I could I could attack and lose one life, but every little bit of life matters. I'm down. Hmm. I think we explosive pyre save all life we can. And I think we won now. I take it back. 
we may not win. This turn made me think otherwise. Next turn we're fine. Could just pass. Could also just do ball of lightning and get rid of my only frost orb. Get rid of my only frost orb that I got from a lone chill. It's probably better to just pass. Unfortunately. That's a doozy. Get this out of that. Give me, give me something better. I don't know about that. Right, so Dead Branch was a big stinker. The problem with this lone frost orb is that <sighs> Ball Lightning is my best attack, and I want to play it. Now you could argue we're on the point of the fight where we're trying to kill because we have to do 57 damage. And we're trying to go for the kill here. So you could argue that doing ball any rip and tear now just to maximize damage because we're going for the big split is probably okay. And we can lose our frost now because that three extra block from this frost is not going to mean a damn thing for his big attack, right? Because his next thing is the big attack. And I guarantee you that three block is not going to save my life. But this extra damage possibly could because bullseye is a thing that we got from dead branch and yet again i might do a cheeky fusion or i leave all of this lightning up which is technically doing 6 18 a turn all right 18 a turn means all i gotta do is pass and we win because of mercury hourglass he's still bullseye and he's still dead. But if I really want to rub it in, smack him with that. And then smack him with this. And that's how you greed and disrespect the Guardian because you need a greed and disrespect the Guardian. Otherwise, you die in Act 2. Yeehaw, Yahoo. Alright. So we take Electrodynamics as a booty clapper for Act 2. Destroys the elites. The AoE is fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. When I see Electrodynamics as my card ward, I'm always taking it for the most part. And I'm really happy going into Act 2 against the elites. Since we want to maximize against elites, I'll take the Slaver's Calder because I want the energy. There is a world where you take Empty Cage to remove two strikes and have a small little Dead Branch thing. But energy is king because not only does it help you play cards from Dead Branch, but it just helps you play your Electro Dynamics and other things. So we take the Slaver's Calder. And hallway fights, we should be fine. Um, we'll manage. We have. It's important to notice we have Outer Shirts, which is a pretty energy efficient block for the hallway fights. And Electric Dynamics is really good for a lot of the hallway fights. And let's go. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, if you do Cage, you draw into Electro earlier. And by drawing into Electro earlier, you're probably winning. But, um, okay. So, there's one, two, three elites with only one campfire. And one early shop. And a couple of hallway fights. Do not neglect the hallway fights. Those things are damn scary. So that means one, two, three hallway fights, four, five, six hallway fights, and these late ones are a doozy. All right, the safer path, and perhaps even maybe the better path, is shop three hallway fights. Then we get the sparkle out of the way, so we don't have to worry about it in Act Three. That's a pog, and then we get another campfire before we do a super late elite when our deck is as strong as it can be at the end of the act to get another relic. That's in total four campfires, early shop. Two elites, one of them is a sparkle. Looking like the path. And then the other path that you don't want to talk about is campfire, 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 or campfire elite, campfire, terrible. Or shop elites, camp. Okay, we saw our path, right? So the only thing we need to worry about is can we kill this sparkle? I mean, look at all these hallway fights with Collar, but, like, I can't avoid it, guys. I can't avoid it. Like, I could technically go event, 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 event. Event, event, event. But then we're sacrificing two relics and two elites, you know? So, yes, you want to avoid hallway fights, but at what cost? Did I talk about three energy, the three elite path? Okay, there's this path as well, guys. Shop. Elite, elite, elite. And that's sort of a doozy because of the nature of the... Hallway fights plus one less campfire. Eh, a little scary. But like three elites, I think we can manage. Booker Stabby is still kind of hard. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet. But yeah, hallway fights are going to be a, a rough one. Not much I can do about that. I guess Sparkle Book I'm probably going to get destroyed anyways. 
Give me fusion. You exist, but I'm not sure I don't want you to exist. All right. I mean, it's so many hallways it's all over the path. Like, in order to avoid hallways, look. In order to avoid hallways, you go to the right. So we go event, 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 event. All right. But then we get no elites, no relics. You think that's worth it? In the quest to save your life and save your health and avoid hallway fights, you cheat yourself out of relics and the ability to win in Act Four and Act Three, right? That surely has to be the cost. Now, if you do elites in that situation, you can do elite, elite. Okay. So, I say you do that early elite, right? Two hobby fights, three events. Some, some of those events could be hobby fights. You don't know. Then you do elite, elite. Get a shop. Two more hobby fights. You sacrifice campfires altogether. The nice sacrifice and campfires, you're also not sure that those events are not going to be all hobby fights anyways. So, now you're taking elite fights back to back with no rest in between, no upgrades. Plus, you might get hobby fights anyways. So, that's just suicidal. You like Thunder Strikes, Nikolai? Yes, uh, that would be cool, Art Promise. That would be cool. But Electrodynamics is really just there to be a, a massive AoE killer, which is, you find yourself a lot of fighting that a lot in the uh, act. Wait, should we go for Lethal here? Give me a second. Obviously, so. I, I'm always leaning towards white noise because I want to see what power I get, which could be like a buffer, and also I like the dead branch from it, but we are dark stacked up, so there's a world where we do like hollow rim to also get their branch, and then give me like ball lightning, which gives me five block, plus the two attached, so in total we're having seven block. It does ten damage, plus another six, so the guy's at 19 life, and then if we can somehow manage to get rid of so this... If you rebound, then that's also, uh, he's at 10 life. And we just need, whatever the dead branch is, maybe the dead branch gives me the 10, 10 life, 10 damage. I want, is hologram better? Like, fuck. <laughs> All right. Okay, we do hologram here. I think we could go for block. We could sure. Up. So we're getting to the point where like, we're getting sort of close to just kind of winning anyways. Especially with dual cast coming up, right? Uh, so maybe we just full block. I just kind of changed my mind. I just changed my mind. Um, mm. Yes, because we have electrodynamics into dual cast next turn, so we just got a full block. Electro into dual cast. So that was sort of okay. We didn't take that much damage. So I think Chill's a good card. I mean, gives us Frost. And gives us an extra card because of Dead Branch. And I'm just leaning towards Dead Branch. Now, obviously, Loop is a good power to have. If we're looking towards late game insurance, good stuff to have. Loop is one of those cards. It also makes Electrodynamics do an extra proc AoE. For the heart, if we're going that far, it gives us the ability to loop our Frost. So we can play cards and have a lot of block. Currently... We don't have dark, but we'd had a dark from Dead Branch. It sometimes helps with that. Fringe benefits. It's also a power that you play and just gives you benefits for anything that might happen because there's a lot of RNG involved right now with Dead Branch. Chill is a more proactive card. It gives you something tangible, gives you something good, which is Frost and Dead Branch Enabler. Whereas Loop may be hit or miss in the sense that sure, it gives me an extra proc of Electrodynamics or an extra proc of, chill, or an extra proc of Frost, but like... Hmm, it's, tough, it's a tough call here. I'm leaning towards chill, but loop is a, loop is pretty good as well. As far as powers are concerned. And having an extra proc of electrodynamics is pretty good for the collector if we're going that far. Having that much more lightning damage is pretty good. But chill kind of operates in the same vein. Chill, I guess the collector is pretty good as well. Right now we're like we're kind of in a trying to survive hallway fights, right? So our mentality is hallway fights kick our ass. So we're gonna rebound that auto shield, which is so that's why auto shield is so cool, guys. Like look at that efficiency. I think we want to save our life. I'm I'm almost inclined to do energy pot just to save this life. I'm 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 that crazy with it.
I need to save as much stuff as possible. Because I'm fighting an early sparkle. My deck's kind of a... Okay, let's talk about this, though. So, auto shield is just really cool, guys. Uh, I think we just auto shield, just chill, and then we do electrodynamics. Alright, for the most part, we didn't take that much damage in this fight. It could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. I could simply buffer here. It's dead next turn. I also have full block. Doesn't matter. So, for what it's worth, we didn't take that much damage there. Okay. Rebound plus reinforced body claw. My favorite deck with Divac is just some loop, dark, bias, and attack with artifacts. Uh, Core Surge? Yeah, man. I mean, that's amazing. Like, bias, bias and Core Surge is like all the focus you need. It's really good win condition. Treat it like a demon form or whatever. So, Rebound Plus for even more damage. So, if I can just out damage these hallway fights, I could uh, save some life that way. 12, 12 damage is pretty good, plus the fact that Rebound Plus also helps you do cheeky little things like uh, auto shields more often. So auto shields be my best block right now. It helps you do whatever dip branch, recur whatever that comes out, but I mean, for body is also a pretty good block in a pinch. Especially if we have Slaver's Collar, it's a pretty good block. I I'm leaning towards all these cards. I don't think Reinforced Body would be Clog. Like, I don't see myself drawing Reinforced Body and feeling that's a Clog. So, like, the ability to just draw, to block 21 is pretty strong. Just, if nothing else, just blocking 21. Pretty good. I don't think this is a clog. If you add shows to the mix, like, just blocking 21 plus whatever frost you have out. It's just a good block to have. We do have a lot of block at the moment, but, like, uh, I mean, also, with only 3 energy, reinforced body is a little bit worse, but still, like I said, the ability to block for 21 just straight up in one card is, is pretty strong. That's, that's touching damage values that a lot of the fights give you. Uh, I was leaning towards Reinforce Rebound Plus again, though, for more. Whoa. 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 Okay. So we took Reinforce Body, so Chemical X, Chemical X becomes better because of Reinforce Body. And sometimes we see multicast coming out from dead branch so that's the thing okay a couple of things to consider art of war helps some of our energy problems so we're kind of having energy problems in the hallway fights and art of war can sometimes help us get more energy for when we want to just block and play powers or just play skills in general art of war is a consideration and then juzu is probably the worst consideration but still something to think about if you want to make sure you don't get any hallway fights you take that but we're going to hallway fights anyway so the juice is really bad for this act um a second re hologram is nice because hologram does give us so well, let's talk about madness real quick as well so madness for dead branch is reducing the cost of a card and it gives you another random card on top of that and that's what madness does there we go glad we had that talk is that good? Not for its cost. So, Chemical X, just for that lone reinforced body, is it worth it? Would we prefer Art of War? Would we prefer Art of War to get more energy and be more consistent? Because there are turns where we just play skills and powers. Let me see here. So let's say if we are going to remove, right? So if you're going to remove a strike, which we're kind of dipping into our offense like crazy, because we've, if we remove a strike, that our offense is really low. If, no, you can't see Art of War again, right? So right now, energy, we're just thinking this forget energy. The ball line gets worse, but that's not the, the point is that like, in the flow of a fight, there are going to be turns where you want to be preoccupied with blocking and preoccupied with setting up your powers and playing powers, right? So, I can imagine where turns where I'm playing electrodynamics, I'm playing powers, I'm playing skills just to block, and then the following turn I have extra energy to then dump my ball lightning, to then do other things. So, sure, it makes ball lightning worse on an average turn, if you think about it that way, but it 
also makes your turns more consistent if you think about the ebb and flow of a fight. I mean, it's not the best energy relic, but it's definitely something. Uh, you think Chemical X is because we can get more reinforced bodies? Is, is it really... Uh, Chemical X feels like... So, the, re, the what you're saying, Duke, right now, and what your philosophy is right now, is you're basically saying there is a chance we're going to find more reinforced bodies. So, you take that Chemical X for that one card you have in your deck right now and for the potential value of something else later on. And that's just not very convincing. Because I've more than anything, I find being proactive is the best thing. So, the proactive play is what is the best thing right now to make my deck as strong as it can be and be as consistent as it can be. And obviously, Art of War is better than that. And you can also talk about, like, I guess, Hologram for more Dead Branch and more Recursion, whatever, but... Okay, if we take Chemical X, then we're more inclined to keep the deck small. But the thing is, our deck's already going to be kind of... <laughs> bloated with Dead Branch. So our deck never really gets smaller, so we don't get to take advantage of our, chemi uh, our Chemical X Reinforced Body as often as we like. Because the cards that exhaust them typically would make our deck smaller or give us new cards. So it's not like we're even seeing Chemical X that often. And it's not like we can set up our deck to be like, okay, on turn three or four of this fight, my deck would be small enough that I'll see Reinforced Body like every other turn. It's totally fine. Uh, chemical X takes a lot of value. But you know, that's meaningful for boss fights and elite fights, but then also doesn't apply because it's Dead Branch. God. And then Doom and Gloom is dark and AoE. And we have AoE covered. Alright. I'll take a bite. But I'm letting chat take full responsibility. And I mean full responsibility. But at least we talked about it. It's not bad. I mean... Yeah, Artwork is really good here. Like, Artwork is really, really good here. I 100% agree with you. Uh, I feel bad we're moving to strike because we have so little attacks as it is, guys. My offense is going to be shitty. I guess we depend on electrodynamics. But it's okay. It's actually, having these little strikes is going to be really good. But yeah, no, our was really good. I, at least I made my cases so that you guys can make better decisions in your games. That's all I could ask for, is that you guys make better decisions. That's all that really matters to me. Playing around potential X card cards you're gonna find from art card rewards is this a really bad philosophy. I can save my buffer, I can go for big damages. Give me something good. Yay, it's lethal. Rebound ball landing is my bread and butter combo. Rebound ball landing is what I use to kill all the things. Feather's gonna heal us. Boot sequence as red is, hey, this is an anchor on turn one and a random card. You like it? Yes, boot sequence, because you have Death Branch, I like you that much more. Okay. So there's reinforced body number two. <laughs> so that's the second reinforced body. Um, it means we're gonna have a lot of block at our disposal. Now we gotta worry about damage. So because of the comic we want to see more reinforced bodies. Let's just make sure our block 
Like, it's just really good for a block, but uh, we have to worry about damage, and that's gonna be a bag of marbles, a bag of, uh, not a bag of marbles, but like a, it's a bag of dead branch, and see whatever that comes up with. Now, capacitor, obviously, yeah, it gives you more orb slots, but we don't generate that many orbs. Like, we chill, and we have electro, I guess we generate some orbs with ball any, yeah, sure. But yeah, we take reinforce body here. And we have the luxury to now upgrade, because we have eternal feather, I'm gonna go into this elite fight, 51 life, sparkle, I feel fine. I think I'm gonna do Electro. Uh, I think an early chill is not bad either. Like, an early innate chill is pretty damn good to get Frost going, but I think upgrading this is my biggest source of damage. We're struggling really hard to kill things, but uh, we at least have the ability to kill things, even if it's a little bit slow. And getting the ability to kill things after you already have the ability to block is not hard to do. Sometimes it's much harder to make sure you have enough block, whereas the ability to kill things could come pretty quickly and pretty randomly before you know it. <sighs> I mean, upgrade reinforce is basically upgrading my best card in terms of block, but I really want to practice upgrading my damage. And I like Electro here. And I do think an upgraded innate chill is also going to be pretty useful. I should get one I, know ch I should get one chill. Let's do this first. Got defrag and ooh, got glacier. Alright, so I'm going to kill these things. I also want to put Glacier back up on top. So in the, in the event that they're going to attack, he's probably going to attack because I didn't kill any minions. I have Glacier here for block and maybe get Chill as well. Alright, so we got Glacier. Zap, and we can kill this little bad boy. So we have full block, and we're looking good. Barrage for damage, not bad. Electrodynamics better. Means we're going to lose our Frost, but we have Glacier in the deck, so... We're almost always excited to do this instead. And I want to maybe just keep applying Zap. But what would a hologram here? I guess the best thing to hologram would be like... Zap? I mean... Sure. At this point we're just going to try to kill him. So we need ball any to pop off. So... Do I feel okay about doing chill? Chill is doing 27 damage to everybody. Uh, I mean, I, w I definitely want to get like... I definitely want to... If you do dual cards first, then chill doesn't do anything. You know, if you do a cost first, then chill is, is a dead card. Yeah, we need the damage, but like chill kills all the minions pretty easily, and then I mean, I guess I technically just do ball lightning and keep all the keep all the damage. But chill gives me an, an extra card. I have reinforced body next turn. Worst case scenario, we have reinforced body. Worst case scenario, we got reinforced body. Damn, it's kind of sad. She was much stronger when it's uh, his minis up. So we're gonna have seventeen damage AOE. I can kill the minions here. This guy's gonna stay alive, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this guy staying alive. I could do Glacier to just get more damage and more Frost, because if he attacks next turn, I, I need the block. Cause, because look at it this way. Um, I, I reinforced the body. <clears throat> I drew into it now. If he attacks next turn, I'd rather do Glacier now and end with like strikes and stuff like that. So. I want to try to maximize the fact that he's not, not going to attack, and we, we should have lethal regardless. And the guy had never attacked. This guy is just scared of attacking. 
mean, that was a spark all late, by the way. So replay is not that great because uh, we have eternal feathers, so we're not going to want to rest as much. And white noise is pretty good because we do have dead branch. So I feel leaning into white noise is kind of nice, but we get more upgrades now. We can go to upgrading our one chill. I think having one chill is pretty damn good for a lot of what's going to happen in these hallway fights. That's very good. Hi, chill. So those are double reinforced body. I want to blame. This is a, we call it the Twitch chat problem. Take chemical X. Take reinforced body. Oh, I'm just kidding. You guys are not to blame. I guess technically I could rebound reinforced body, but like, hmm. I'd rather like rebound bullseye and get more damage. Eh, really though, would I, would I like to do that? Am I just lying to myself? I want to draw into electric dynamics. So I hold on to that for insurance. If we get calipers, the game's over. I say that a lot, don't I? I often say, hey, if I get calipers, the game's over. That's something I say quite often. We want electric dynamics here. And since I want electric dynamics so bad, I'm gonna go ahead and bullseye I uh, sorry the zap here, because ooh, Sunder's a doozy. Like, you know, I was thinking if there's a if there's a relic, if there's a relic I could if that I could start with every single run and it's calipers. Oh wait, let's do this first. Cool. Uh, full blocky. How are we feeling about the full blocks? Feeling good. The calipers are so good. Look at the, we got recycle finally. We got recycle. It happened. We got the recycle. It happened. Get rid of this because that's a dead card. Okay. Trade one dead card for another. You know, like, we have heat sink, so maybe we can get like uh, nothing. I mean, I guess we take 6 damage here. Unless I'm doing math wrong. 10, 18, 18 plus 9, 27. We're 1 damage off. Can you believe it? I'm 1 damage off. But we heal from Feather, right? So 6 damage is like... It's nothing. It's nothing. And we got we got the Intersprinter. Nice, nice little uh, Intersprinter stack. So do you think hologram is just like really good? Because he takes from, he takes from dead branch. Now hologram gives his reinforced body. So look at it this way. If you think about a turn in a perfect world, four turns, one of them is reinforced body. The next turn is hologram. The next turn is reinforced body. The next turn is hologram. And that's like four effective turns of reinforced body. And if you have at your disposal a reinforced body on every turn with like dead branch attached to it or just like by itself, you're probably pretty happy. Now here's reality. Turn one, reinforced body, reinforced body, hologram, hologram. But remember, if you got calipers, that's not bad. Kind of is fine. Seek. So for here, we're gonna seek out the white noise plus, or are we gonna go ahead and seek out electrodynamics and get that bad boy out of here? Aggregate for my non-existent ice cream. A man can dream. Boot sequence. I kind of want to draw back into you, but I also want to get something else of this energy. And bam, I was rewarded with the bag of marble streamline. Take no damage right now against the snake plant, which is amazing because we can just do this, 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 this. Um, play this, play that, play that. I'm just really happy. I'm extremely happy. Really, really happy. Can you see how happy I am? I'm so happy. I finally defeated the heart with the silent. It took me seven tries, but I'll, I'll take it. Hey, congrats. So we have nine damage, right? And what goes well with nine damage? Hologram dual cast. 
That, my friends, is lethal. So that was a snake plant. Ooh, okay, so we're getting off a recursion steam and storm. Uh, this looks like a skip. First skip in a long time. Now, here we can take recursion, but like, I don't have focus, right? So it's just a naturally, just kind of a bad card to draw into. Recursion plus at the moment is kind of a bad card to draw into. I mean, I guess it, so in a perfect world, uh, you get recursion after electrodynamics, and then it's an extra tick of AoE point of lightning. An extra tick of AoE lightning. It's like a zap in that situation. Recursion becomes a zap in that situation, but I'm going to skip. You think Storm for damage? Storm because we have white noises, so we could take a Storm, and with the white noises, we have the ability to get some lightning going off quicker, which could help us with our damage. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Storm. I don't normally take it. I think if I look at my past 100 runs of defects, Storm is probably one of the lowest card choices that I've taken. Like, I, I don't normally take this card at all. But you make up a good point. And we're in 2020. And we're, it's a new year. So we think about new things. And Storm, with the current deck with White Noise and Electrodynamics, it's definitely a card that increases damage. That's what it's there for. And maybe I'm okay with that. The problem is, I just, I don't, hmm. I don't really like Storm, but I could value a little bit higher. And I guess Waking 1, obviously... I would never want to see that, but uh, I mean, honestly, with the white noises, do I feel that extra bit of damage is worth it? Like, is is it bloaty? Is it bloaty, bloaty, bloaty? I guess my damage is that much higher. It feels like a skip. Now, block part versus flex. I feel like flex is kind of bad with my lack of attacks. All right, we get another upgrade. Look at this all the upgrades. 69, nice. Nice. So, is it now the time? Are we at a time where we're upgrading Reinforced Body finally? My big doozy cards. The Chemical X Warriors. Upgrade these champions. At least one of them. Calipers, I'm calling it. I want, Cal I want everybody to summon Calipers. I guess I should have looked for Deflect first. Is it worth playing Echoform now? Is this fight hard? Am I willing to put an energy pot in the event that he drops a potion so it doesn't feel, you know... Or do I want to save it for the Elite fight? You know what? When you see that... Sometimes you just gotta... I'm a little worried about using all my luck. Like, Gamber's Fallacy is hurting me right now. I am so deep in this fallacy. Right. Okay. For fucks, this is why we don't do. No, I mean that's okay, but like also Echo Four Auto Shield. I got debated yet again. It happens. Always happens. All right. Let's um. Let's go ahead and. Well, let's seek something. Let's seek out block. So steam barrier is probably fine for block. Unless I want to do like chill. Nah, I guess steam barrier is fine for block. I want block. I could have gotten like more block, but I'm happy with this. Reinforced body is a thing that exists. Okay, so we can double block here or double ball landing. How much of that damage? That's good damage. Very good damage. But I don't want to take damage, right? And we're. <laughs> hey, let's go. Yes. Yes. So we don't need defense because we have reinforced body. And what's a defend to a reinforced body? So this deck is good. So turn one slavers, I'm gonna hand Whoa, yes, 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 yes. 
So Turbo Slavers. We don't take damage, but I don't really care about damage because I have boot sequence chill. So if there's ever an instance burner that feels a little wasted, it's probably now. But that's fine. So let's go ahead and just play this anyways. That's a good bag of marbles is great. I because I can just do hologram streamline and just kill this guy for the most part. I approve. Huge proof. Not a bad turn. Got buffer in the deck. So that guy's dead. And now we have Electro Dynamics. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. Um, I can take damage here because I have Eternal Feather. I'm filling the calipers, guys. Are we filling the calipers? Is it happening? Eternal Feather exists. I almost did it again. I guess technically 8 damage plus 9 would have been not good enough. Calipers. Calipers. Oh, I didn't... Oh, it's okay. Okay. Cool. That is very good. Very good. Yes. Alright, more upgrades. So, do we upgrade the second champion? Mr. Reinforced Body number 2? I don't see why not. I mean, we have Chemical X. We might as well make these baddest boys that could be. Alright. Full life. Decent upgrades. The defense of the gods. But damage is a little bit lacking. So that's why this is going to be Echo Form number 5. One can dream. Instead, we're left with Chaos and Heat Sinks. Okay. I'm going to do... This is weird because my, my hands in turn number one is always monopolized by zero cost innate, uh, zero cost dead branch enablers. And I want to save because of future value, but I also kind of want to just play these cards and see what I get from dead branch. Well, I'm okay with getting rid of this. See, we draw into Electro early. Okay. So I want to get rid of one chill now just to see what I get. I mean, it's better once the minions are out, of course. And it also is pretty good with Electro Dynamics already out. Like, yeah. Maybe you see what Chaos gives me. Yeah, Hologram Chaos. I can save Chaos later on. Let's see what this gives me. Oh, that's not bad. I could do Hologram Shooting Beam again, but then I can't play whatever it draws me. So I just feel like kind of at a loss for... My turn one feels really bad here. It's not really doing anything. You can't read my troll because once you play chill, it exhausts. <laughs> troll. We do chaos number two and get rid of hologram. Maybe so. If this gives me like an echo form, I can't play it. It's gonna feel really bad. And I can save it for later on, but also I just want to kind of potentially just get as much setup as I can right now. So like a one cost power would be fantastic. Or anything at all to use my energy and i guess i can play chaos number two get some orbs so we have a lot of energy interesting so i want to do core search first because i want to see what i can get from dead wrench now let's think about our damage do we want to we want to kill the minions right but do we feel like Electrodynamics is going to handle the minions pretty handily? In which case... By the way, if we had Calipers, I just want to point out. Because once we do Electrodynamics, we're going to need a lot of energy. And Calipers reinforce body. I'm just pointing it out. Calipers should be great here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just kill these as fast as possible. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a waste of energy, but... What can I say? Alright, there that that's energy that I had and now it's the energy that's gone. Damn, that's a lot of block, man. Oh, that's a lot of block.
I really want to chill at this point because I just, I just want more dead branch stuff. Like I'm, I'm not getting good stuff here, and this is feeling pretty, it's pretty, feeling pretty bad. I'm worried about. We have a lot of life. All right, we have instant We have a lot of life for what it's worth, and we have artifact for one of his things. So like for what it's worth, meter strike. For what it's worth, we're probably fine because of all the life that we have. Um. Okay. I kind of just want to get a genetic algorithm out of the deck. I just want to like, get rid of these holograms. I want to get a new deck, new cards. But then again, like, I play genetic and play hologram, and then I'm probably left with the opportunity. I'm, I'm left with cards I can't play. But getting genetic out of the deck now, and maybe getting something better, it's not bad. But I'm left with cards I can't play. Which, I don't know. That could be painful. Or I could just get this hologram and it gives me bias cognition. You never know. It could be, it could be either, either or. I can just get a bias cog right now. I do want to get genetic out of the deck otherwise. Okay, so we got on the beam cell. Okay. Well, I got rid of genetic, I got storm instead. I, I like storm better. Got rid of terror from the. So the deck is kind of bloated. And, okay, we got a weaken though. I could rebound the weaken, that's pretty nice. So he's weakened next turn. And, okay, this is just what our deck is at the moment. Dark's not bad. I could do damage, but I'd rather get Storm out of the deck. I'd do that. Get double weaken. We play Meteor Strike. Who's with me? So that's a lot of block. So, Hello World is my savior. Do we just chill again to get that branch? Nah. No, we don't. Alright, this is where we need the reinforced body. Where is it? Where's the reinforced body? We're trying to push for lethal at this point, so I think we just focus on the boss. But one thing that you can notice is that we don't. The next thing kind of blow to Hello World, and we also don't. Uh... We have Instant Spinner next turn. I focus on damage strictly here. If I focus strictly on damage, uh, with Instant Spinner plus Electrodynamics, do I feel like I can get the kill? We have Meter Strike and Streamline and stuff in the deck. If I just focus strictly on beam selling him twice and doing damage, should that be enough with next turn being a free turn? I don't have enough orbs for lightning. But any power I draw gives me storm. Um, I think it's just correct. I do need recycle, yeah. Recycle is really... When Dead Branch, the first thing you think of is recycle. I didn't see any, unfortunately. I would have bought it immediately. Looks like it was a doozy. So let's just ignore the minions here. Ah, uh, do I want to waste block pot here? Mm, very tangible next turn. And we can probably just save block pot for act three. If we are looking at 51 damage, and I'm only blocking 10 of it. So I'm taking 41 to the face. Could use it, sure. That's me being super safe. But look at that four energy that I didn't utilize, guys. Four energy that was not utilized. All right, so I'll chill now just to kind of go off. So I get meter strike here. Oof. I just want to get something. Give me something else. Yes. Okay. Lito is so close. Just give me the lethal. Did I screw myself over by making Meter Strike not playable? There's a chance that I did. 
Okay, we're fine. God. So yeah, I wasted the resource of the block pot. And I, I knew that I would, but just, just by looking at it, I knew that I probably necessary. But okay, whatever. Don't cry over spilled milk. Um So creative AI reboot in electrodynamics. So electrodynamics number two, that could be more damage, right? We have in the sea of block. In this sea of block, we could take a second electrodynamic, so we find electrodynamic sooner, so we have our AoE online sooner, and then that just could be our damage. Creative AI is one of those cheeky this deck needs more. I'm looking to get something random and potentially better for my turns. And creative I helps you achieve that. Or electrodynamics just is another one. You get it sooner and you get the damage. If there's ever a deck with creative I that was a weird whistle. If there's ever a deck with creative I is good, it's probably a deck where you have reinforced body chemical X block. So on, on any given turn, you can potentially just play powers and reinforce body for block. And then basically you're just trying to scale creative AI. And uh, just hoping to get lucky for the most part. So not only do you have dead branch, you have creative AI doing things. It's just the double RNG run. But since we do have that lone core surge, bias caught from creative AI would be godsend. But again, like... The odds are not in your favor. Maybe it's worth taking anyways. But keep in mind, remember there's been turns where I, I, I have energy I'm not utilizing? Bingo. Creative I use your energy. And that sells me. I'm sold because of the energy that I had that I couldn't utilize. Interesting. Okay. So here's what I think. RNGesus, you're already so far deep in this run. We got creative AI, we got dead branch. Now RNGesus is saying, hey, there's an Astrolab. How about you get rid of two defense and a strike? Get rid of two defense and a strike and just try it. You're already so you're already so far in. Why not do something else as RNG? Okay, so then by keeping not taking Busted Crown, you're basically saying. So I like the strike plus. That's actually good damage. And I like to keep that damage. Having a little bit of damage is like for a Reptomancer to kill the minion. Or just kill a little jaw worm or Darkling. I mean, just, just good to have damage. Some kind of social front loaded. Act 4 to turn your body when you need to. Like, you know, just tons of examples. Um, I mean, yeah, we're running Act 3, so there's not that many card choices. But by taking Buster Crown, I'm basically conceding the fact that, like, okay, I'm not going to see as many cards. I have creative AI to give me random crap. And now I just have more energy. Which means we're we're taking Buster Crown, we're lowering our chances to find Recycle. And I do want to find Recycle, so that's one thing. And we're lowering our chances to find Bias Cognition, which is a rare card to begin with, but, you know, that's also something that happens. Now, you could argue that we can go to shops and try to find those cards, Recycle or Bias from shops. And we can just focus on having more energy, which is quite nice. Um, I mean, 4 energy and 5 energy in... Elite fights and four energy for hallway fights. I mean, it's not bad, especially with creative eye being a thing that you're gonna be playing in boss fights. So now Astrolab does get rid of two defense and a strike and makes the deck kind of small and cute. I, I take the energy here. All right, so we won't find as many cards, but we can primarily focus on upgrades because we have free heals from the Eternal Feather, and I want to maximize elites because I really want to find calipers. I, I'm not kidding. I'm going to bend over backwards for calipers here. And if that means fighting seven elites back to back to back, well, so be it. So, there's two paths here. There's campfire, campfire, elite, elite, and for the shop in between. Okay. And that's a little bit later elite, so you're a little bit, your deck's a little bit better. And then you have campfire, elite, campfire, elite, which is elite a little bit earlier. And you don't get a shop. Right, so there's no guaranteed shop here, which is kind of bad. I really want to see a shop. I think the fact that it says a late shop plus two elites at the end, not bad. And then there's this path, and let me explain why this is the path we're probably gonna take. Elite, 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 shop, elite. That's four chances for calipers, and five with the shop. 
five chances for calipers and win the run so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with this cheeky little two events and we can pivot Give me 990 gold. Okay, so if we get the event to give us gold and we go to the shop, oh baby, we're so let me explain why. Cal I mean, you guys already know calipers are so good. I want to take four elites here. Oh god, oh god, that bench, please. <laughs> the turn ones are kind of bad in this deck. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. The turn ones are kind of awkward. I'm getting like plasma nonstop. I just got rid of my electro, my creative AI. What am I doing? It's okay. We're gonna have dark scaling. That's all we need. So instance doesn't get stacked. Beam himself are vulnerable and. Uh. We have five energy for a bo uh, boss and elite fights, right? So imagine you have five energy and you draw to a, a beam cell. There's my beam cell. So glad I, so glad I have this five energy. Now you could also argue, okay, you have five energy, but someone that's going to be put into like creative AI, and then maybe on average, some of that is going all into reinforced body. So like having vulnerable for extra damage, and creative AI takes some of your energy, reinforced body takes the rest to block, and then you just have beam cell for vulnerable to help your damage i mean it's a possibility but like where are our attacks i mean this mm. mind bloom i guess rid of artifacts true <sighs> okay i can take the heal Now this is the turn you want to see. All right, so four elites, guys. Let me ask you a question. Do we have the damage for the giant head? Very important question. Very important question. Creative AI. Creative AI. And a dream? Oh, calipers. So we are going to the shop. Uh, we are going to the shop for the calipers. Yes. So we're going to go to sh this shop right here. We want to get four elites. So we're taking as much campfires as we can. As much elites as we can to find calipers. Yep. That's what we're doing. At this point, I'm just looking for... I'm looking for echo form potentially. That's why I'm using my holograms because I 
if I can get any kind of power right now, like, Bias is really good. And I have Hologram in the deck to do Core Search, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna get this out because I want the, I like the damage here. I'm also gonna get this out of the deck for the same purpose. I, I want to get better cards. I'm gonna hold on to Bias and get the artifact with it. So we, that means we're gonna have to get a Core Search. And that means we have to get a Hologram. But the Core Search right now is just gonna block. So if I played the Electro, if I played the Bias Cognition, this Electro would be a lot more damage. Um, by not playing, but playing Corsair's first is gonna give me a negative effect. Um, so we could try to potentially hold on to Core Surge and maybe draw into Bias again, but is that wasting too much time? Because then we not only do we have the safe core for Hollow, but then we also have to draw him back into Bias. I mean, I just think maybe it's still just right to do this. And I don't think we don't want to rebound anything because we just want to draw into our creative value, so we don't really want to rebound anything at all. And then, yes, we gotta hurry up in terms of damage. So we need creative AI really bad. So this is pretty good because this allows me to draw. Into creative AI that much sooner. And getting creative AI that much sooner is really important because we need to start skilling with powers. And I can't hologram Core Shorts yet again because it's doing debuff. I think this is fine. Okay. Uh, we can, we could do rebound reinforced body, but um, next turn we're intangible, so it's fine. Some of these cards are pretty bloaty. It's really important that I get that biased out. So this is kind of awkward at the moment. We just gotta play cards, basically. And try to stack up slow as much as possible here. It also does help our damage though, so it's fine. It might even rebound it. But again, I might not rebound it at all because I really wanted to just draw into Creative AI. And once we draw into Creative AI, we're fine. And then I can start maybe playing the game. Which is a little reliant and doesn't feel that great, but I think holding on to Core Surge, I mean, holding on to Hologram makes more sense here. For the stuff that we have. So we we'll just go ahead and get this out of the way now. And I think we'll just do as much damage as possible. I can play this. Do I care about the losing block here? Probably not. Again, I could have done reinforce next turn, but yeah. So we got reinforced yet again. On a turn where he's not attacking, so that could be problematic. Hopefully we get good draws coming up because he's about to start smacking, 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 and we are way behind. So I'm doing skim here. It's really important because I, I really want to find my core surge biased. We need the whole drawer. Here. I want to do skim again. Wow, we're getting closer to Corsair's bias, but like, yikes. Remember, we could always end a reinforced body, so that's fine. Getting Electro out of the deck is probably not bad either. But I think like doing things like Beam Cell, Ball Letting, Rebound, and then doing reinforced body for next turn is pretty good. Right? That ensures we have block next turn. And it does good damage. So we got a second creative AI. The thing is, we really. We have bias coming out, so we can do the core search. So let's take a look at what we can do here. If I end with three energy, I have 55 block. So if I do core search bullseye, I have 55 block. If I do Storm, we have 44 block plus 2. So if we do Storm, we take damage, but that's not bad because we have Static Discharge, right? 
And getting Storm out is pretty good for damage. So if we do Storm, we take some damage, we get Static Discharge, but we heal anyways for free at the campfire. I, I think that's fine to get Storm out of the way. Take four damage for some, some Static Discharge. We got Bias now. Pushing for damage. So by playing... Did I play Heat Sinks? Do I have Heat Sinks? If I had Heat Sinks... I don't have heat sinks. If I did, this would feel really good because the reinforced body is perfect. Yikes. So we're gonna rest with real pillow. That's that means fine. Do you want to just do dual cast next turn? We'll rest your pillow here. We got buffer. So we could do like bullseye, bullseye buffer dual cast. I should look at bastard first. Yeah, yeah. Bullseye buffer dual cast. And we have full block, so we can do reinforced body buffer or buffer reinforced body. It's going to be sixty six block, and then we buff for next turn. And we can set up the Incense Burner. It's all about how we, At this point, it just becomes Incense Burner, right? At this point, it's like... If I do Bullseye, Dual Cast, Beam Cell, all that stuff, and then Buffer, I'm ending the fight faster in terms of damage. Obviously, Reinforced Body is pretty good, because I can do Reinforced Body, Buffer, and then just have another free turn. But I might end up wasting Incense Burner. I guess I could do the math here, but I'm not really too bothered by it too interested in it rather pretty sure I just kill next turn though like so it's gonna be 50 damage yeah we just kill next turn it's already dead pretty much GG 50 damage finally got echo farm so Instant Burner is going to be on turn 1 of the next fight, which could be good for... Ah, wrap the mention a little bit. I mean, not much I can do about it. Fight's over. Alright, we're going to rig a pillow here. Dagger Prep is great. Oof. Now go for the eyes. Go for the eyes. Highly Source of Weakening is very good. It's a similar concept for like Beam Cell in the sense that like it's zero cost, drawn into it, feels low impact, but they're not attacking. It's also a zero cost card. And But like, the weakening is pretty good. I just. Well, I'd rather just draw into Reinforce Body more often. So keep it, look, look at it this way. We have so much bloat as it is from Dead Branch. We'd probably rather just draw into Reinforce Body as often as possible. Um, instead of like having the, the Go for the Eyes that may or may not hit. Like, sure, the weakening would be great. But it's situational weekend. I can't always apply it. We have a lot of energy that's kind of wasted. I don't know. It, it has to be a skip, unfortunately. Weekend is a great thing to have. Just can't really justify it now. So we're going for two more elites. All right. So backup prep is great here. That early course surge is just really, 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 really nice. It's really good. I just want to kill the minions here. I could focus, honestly, I should maybe focus on her because Electro Dynamics exists. Yeah, so we're going for as many elites as possible and for shop. We're, we're looking for Calipers or Bust, but because Electro Dynamics exists, I feel like I should just focus all the damage on her so she is a little bit. The only thing is I get these wounds, but maybe I don't care about the wounds in the grand scheme of things. I really want to focus damage on her, but if I don't draw to Electro Dynamics, I guess Explosive Pot can kind of handle these things. But if I don't draw into electric damage, then they're doing a lot of damage next turn. And maybe I want to avoid that. Then I just got to worry about like how much damage they're doing next turn. Interesting. Get rid of our frost altogether because. Electro being a thing, I'd rather 
There we go. I want to draw here. No, but let's do this first. Uh, I need reinforced body here. Taking a hit kind of sucks. Because I didn't get pretty by out. So, oof, let's see pretty nice there. Um, look at that, all that. So, like on average turns, without calipers, we just have all these wasted turns. Calipers is just so good for this deck. It's crazy. Ooh. So I do want to kill the minions. So I'm gonna hologram something. I want to hologram creative AI, but if I play ball lightning. I can kill the minions. Even though I really want to play creative AI. Since Echo Form exists, we can probably be we'll probably be fine in this fight. So I think we just wanna do ball ending and kill these minions. Oh, that's good as well. We could do chill, blizzard. Chill gets rid of my lightning, which is really bad. I need that lightning. I can just hold on to chill though, like, chill, hold on to chill is fine because we, we do have uh, Echo Form, so chill is kind of okay for Echo Form. We can do double energy, is that excessive? Like, I do double energy, but then, how do I use the energy? I think I'd rather do chill twice. Or white noise twice. Chill twice is more proactive. White noise is more random. Chill twice gives you 16 damage and kills, kills the minion. So I think we just do this first and double energy after. Okay, cool. So we want to get like a, a cheeky little... Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. We can go for lethal. So if we do rebound hyper beam, we just win next turn, right? So let's get full block and we just... Oh, we're going for lethal, yeah? I guess we could just win this turn as well, technically. Pendip's okay. Okay, skip that. Um, we're gonna have a little bit less life. Um, I gotta skip this, unfortunately. That's fine. It's not calipers. Don't be, don't be giant hit number two. Your giant head number two. Okay. Well, with that, at least we got creative vibe right away, so that could save us. Um. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of gold. We have enough gold for calipers. Two more elites. Feeling hopeful. Early creative is nice. Heat sinks with early creative is not bad. Getting chill out of the way is pretty good too, because chill is pretty pretty much a doozy in this fight. This burner's not a good stack, but we amplify. Amplify capacitor. Let's do white noise first, see what we get. Amplify capacitor is pretty good. Amplify in general is pretty good. We got the core surge now. He isn't. He isn't doing the debuff right now, so doing the core charge now could be useful. Could be useful. Since creative eyes out. And now you have a seek in the deck, that's cool. Could be forced reinforced body. No, he's not gonna attack. Okay, so we got more heat sinks. That's crazy. Storm is very good. Do we want to amplify storm? That's our damage. Is that what we're doing? Amplify storm, and that is our damage. And then we just gotta hope for. And we're also drawing cards with it. And we just hope that we draw on reinforced body. So by because the heat sinks exist, by doing amplify storm, not only we're playing as much damage as we can, but we're also drawing into reinforced bodies, and that's really damn good. More storms. We got Amplify again, so... So all we need to full block here is, um... Five energy, so we can do, we can play one more card, we can play Chaos here. With 
problem is, I, I don't know if this is enough damage. Push him again. Okay, it's looking interesting. We can do... We can bring back Reinforced Body first, if we want to, just to have on the back burner. Or we can do Amplify Storm because we're going to draw a shit ton of cards. Amplify Storm is going to draw six cards. We could do Hologram just to be safe. We can rebound the reinforced body. Then we have instant burner coming up. I know the creative is quite nice, but I'd rather save my life, so because I have to fight another elite. So I'll just reinforce rebound reinforced body. Kind of stacking slowly, so is it's instant burner. Okay, we have reinforced body straight up or we can do machine learning storm going so all we need is well six is fine so six is fine so i can do amplify reinforce amplify machine learning and then reinforced I can get Seek out of the deck too. I can get Seek out of the deck. Let me focus, man. Amplified Heat Sinks, that means we're gonna draw our whole deck every time we play <laughs> cards. It also gives us more storm. Okay. Um, I could do hologram invite heat sinks again for more damage. Okay, happy flower for energy. Okay. Now streamline is. Streaming is damage, but okay. I, I think at this point we just it's not the damage we're looking for. Full block with the second reinforced body. Wait, did I draw into another reinforced body on the turn where I got damage? I took four damage. Okay, calipers, please. We got bias cognition though. Okay. Do we just do bias waffle? Do we just do bias waffle? Huh. Bias waffle, I like Ego. Should we go grabbing Lego? Nah, but waffle gives me max HP and a full heal, which again, I guess giant heads out of the way. But that means I'm going to have to recall. So by having a full heal, I guess we're going to get a full heal anyways from Feather, right? Uh, I guess we're getting a full heal earlier from Feather. Do we like the, Do we want to get Waffle or do we want to save money for an Act 4 shop? Because we have Feather to heal us. It won't be quite full life for the boss, but we'll be close. If we don't, So if we don't take any... So here's my philosophy. Oh, okay. Instead of Steam Barrier... Uh, you're right. I see what you're saying, Drazen. I see what you're saying. That's because I want to draw reinforced body for next turn. That's why. I was content with taking damage that turn because I want a reinforced body for next turn. And if I seek it out, then I don't get it next turn. That was my philosophy, I'm pretty sure. Um, Fish like whenever you add a card you get, you get 9 gold. It's not bad. It's really bad here. But what you're noticing is that we don't see calipers here, so calipers is getting closer and closer. And these events could be. 
Get a rare relic. Okay, but I think we're taking biased always. We're always taking biased. We're always taking biased, all right? Um, so chat is saying remove defense. Now, we could remove defense because over defend, we would always want to see reinforced body or our powers before we play defend. Defense are pretty low value, especially when we're frail, which we're going to be against the heart. So defend is the bad card. Absolutely. There's two events left, yes. Potentially. Um, we could also take the waffle. Now here, in a perfect world, if we take no damage from this fight and don't take any damage from these next two things, then we get the feather heal right here at the campfire. And we won't be full light, but, you know, I guess we'll be at a good place. That's if we don't take any damage and take nothing from these events. And then the waffle would mean we have full life, and if we don't take damage, we're full life. For the, I mean, the waffle is safer. I, I think waffle might be better than the move to defend. Moving defend makes the deck better and more consistent. Again, to my scaling that much quicker. I have better turns overall. I mean, I, it's basically how much do I want to greed? We had Tort Ornithopter to also heal. So we can heal from Tort Ornithopter, and we have Feather to heal. Um, I think Giant Head was like one of the harder fights for us, so I feel confident going against Nemesis, but Nemesis can kick my ass as well. And if I remove now, that means I can get enough gold for Act 4 shop to remove yet again. Or we can save our money and, God willing, get Calipers Act 4 shop. Actually, no, I can't because that's like 300 something gold, right? And I will not make that much money unless the event is... And we don't know what the event's going to be, but if the event is a money event, we're probably going to get enough money from that event anyways, so saving doesn't make a difference. Um, Waffle is healing us for 24 and giving us 7. So we're getting 31, he uh, 31 life from Waffle. If I remove now, we get another remove in Act 4 if we make enough money. And that means we have that much more Racine Reinforced Body and that much more Creative AI. But, ah, oh man... I mean, I'm down for the move train. I really am. All right, guys, let me just think about this a little bit longer, and we're ready to go. The thing is, if we take damage on any of these things, and then we can't rest for these fights, I mean, it's going to feel bad not having that extra bit of healing. That's 31 life that we're getting from Waffle. And that sets us up for the two fights. You know? I think Waffle, 31 HP, especially since I have to recall, it feels fine. Mm. But removal also is not bad, obviously. Removal is obviously not bad. Like, removal... It makes the deck a lot better. Because defense are really bad here. And... I mean, I, I can see a case for both. See a case for both. Nice. I can hold on to Equilibrium or Fission. I can hold on to all these things. I would like to kill these minions because I don't want the wounds. So, I do also kind of want to draw though. If I can draw into like Equilibrium right now. I mean, Electro Damage. Like, to draw into Electro Damage right away is really nice. So, I, I think just doing Fission just to draw makes the most sense. We haven't done the Watcher yet, no. We had a really long silent victory. Looking for a defect victory. Just kind of... We're kind of playing sloth and slow right now. It's kind of what we're doing. Is ceramic fish worse than mobbing from the shop? I mean, if, like, if, if you're going to buy a shop relic and mobbing versus ceramic? Mobbing doesn't require you to add cards. So I think it's inherently better. Mopping's fine. If you don't just don't buy it, but like mopping's that, that, that gold comes in handy. Alright, we really want to draw into core search bias, right? That's, that's the thing that exists around. So card draw is super important. We don't care about the frost. So this draws three. We got our bias. We want the core. Do we just play the bias anyways? Or do we hold on to equilibrium? 
Do we overclock here? Are we overclocking? You gotta skim. That's the thing that exists. Cool. So. Are we equilibrium? Should we hold into reinforced body, hold into bias? That's a lot of cards to hold on to. We have another biased core storage in our deck. It's another biased core storage in our deck, and we have more holograms. No, we don't have more holograms. Um, I mean, I guess I could draw here. Do I want to add another burn? I mean, yeah, I would. Okay, so now I'm severely increasing my chances to find bias core search. But the thing I'm a little bit worried about is that I want to have equal uh, reinforced body for next turn. But we also draw to reinforced body next turn. Potentially. So there's the bias core surge with pendip attached. And we're going to do the damage hurt because electrodynamics is going to kill these things anyways. And then we have buffer. Do we have energy for buffer? If we do, that's fantastic. So we do core surge biased. Then we play chill first, then electro. And then we can draw into reinforced body potentially. But we're almost always doing this. Playing chill first. Wow. And then we're doing electro. We just bullseye on this girl right here. The echo form is, it sucks to lose that, but next time we have reinforced body. So worst case scenario, we just reinforce body here. We have oof. Another bias. Oh my god, it's game over. It's game over. We can buffer as well in the deck. Okay. What are we seeking here? Do we just reinforce for next turn? Just in case? So he's doing 32, right? All right, all that means is we need to just have four energy. So we can end on two energy here. As long as we left with two energy, we have full block. That means I can play buffer. Maybe I'll just play streamline instead. Go for lethal. These burners at four, which is not bad. Okay, so you don't get calipers. That helps act four elite. Okay. Calipers still exist. I'm still looking for it. Let me get a snack. What's up, Elodie? No, we haven't seen any events that can give us crazy stuff. Do we like essence of steel more than explosive pot? Nope. Calipers is finally here? And in the most crazy turn of events, the age-old event opening the sphere, Jeremy has lost many times against this, and when it matters most, Calibers is so desperately needed and wanted, it shows its face on floor 47. On turn two of this fight, or turn three or turn two, we have instant burner, plus we have electrodynamics, Beam me up, Scotty. Fuck up. Oh, you just beat your first watcher run. I was trying to way too hard with synergies when literally every card works together so well. Congrats, TGI Min. Okay. That's an early creative AI. First and foremost, let's play this. Rainbow, really good. I want to play pretty bad, but also Rainbow is really good.
Hmm. Should I play Crit Dive instead? I mean, Rainbow's just really good for damage. And I just want to focus on doing damage. And Creative Eye, just give me a whatever, but... What's better for this fight, Creative or Rainbow? Because Creative Eye, I guess... Gives us more things to do with our energy. In the event that we don't get anything to use our energy, it's pretty good. I think Rainbow's more proactive. Electro right away? Or Core Surge Bias? We're gonna draw into that. Yo, good night, Fulminix. Good night, good night, good night. Are we playing the glacier or like are we not? I mean it's doing a lot of damage on the guy in the back. It's doing a lot of damage on the guy in the back. The problem is this guy's kind of healthy as hell. Oh, good night, man. Take care. There's biased. Should we weak pot here? Save some life. If I had played Creative Eye, I had more cards to play there. Creative Eye would have been lethal. Oh, wait, I'm that. I'm, I don't have enough. Fuck. Save some life here. If we drop some potion, then at least I get that twenty after value. And if you drop calipers, I love you forever. I want to stack a pen up here. Yeah, the sustain is fine. Uh, skin is really good for the deck. Give me another event. What is this? That should not exist. Never should you have this event on floor 48. I mean, honestly, they should put that in the code. That's just not right. That's just not right. How can that exist? I'm mad. It's okay. Okay, so we're not full life. I mean, we don't have calipers, but okay. Perfect Zone is pretty good sustain. I don't mind that. Alrighty. That, it's a weird event in general, actually. That is a weird event. I think that was created during the, the speedrun phase, right? Speedrun craze. And they created that event for like speedrunners that they got that they can get crazy time or something. But like, is that event... I feel like it's never good. In a sense of 20, that event can never be good. Imagine skipping resources like heals and upgrades and recalls. Like, this is, the sense of 20 is not viable ever. I guess, yeah, it's made for lower ascensions. Absolutely. Okay, anyways, let's go. Card draw. You want some cheeky plays? I'm gonna give you a cheeky creative AI. An early course surge. Okay, here we go. You ready for cheeky plays? You ready for cheeky plays? Okay. Card draw. Biased. Creative AI. Cheeky cheeky. It's really important to me that I find buys right away. So I, I kind of want to hologram the skin. But like, how can I play it? Now, the one bad thing that happened here is we got double reinforced body. Now, if we had calibers, we wouldn't care. We want to get electro dynamics, creative eye, and buys all out right away. So we have, these are the three most important powers. Creative, your electro, buys. Fortunately, we got free creative, so that's nice. Uh, getting by should just win the run with Creative Eye in the back end. An instant burner on turn three from now. Okay. So we have a lot of good things going for us. I want to hologram this game to find these things ASAP. But the only thing I could play out of the bunch would be Bias, which is all I really want to play. 
I think we just we kind of just pass, pass, pass here. Um, there's not much we can do. So we just play that and imagine a world where that is relevant. I'll keep chill for later on. We got eyes from Creative AI. Okay. So it's really important to get this out. I might just do it and then try to get Creative AI out as well. Getting rid of my Frost is kind of bad. I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of ways to get Frost. The only way to get Frost is Hello World or the Chill, which I have one more Chill left. I'm leaning towards the Lightning being more important, probably. But the Frost gives us time to scale up. I guess our block comes from Reaper's body, but with the days, we're going to see that few and far between. That's a second bias for now. I wish I can utilize that. I kind of want to do a second creative AI here. And I'm going to take three damage here, because I want to maximize damage. So ball lightning is really good. And while I can, while I have this lightning and while I'm doing that stuff, I want as much damage as possible. So we could do double electrodynamics and say, fuck it. I want all of them. Okay, so if we do that... We do four focus and we do double electro. Things are going to be in pain. Um, I'm going to take some damage as well. But I can heal that damage up with powers. I don't care as much. That is a lot of damage with bias. Let's burn them to death. Did I screw myself by playing... Maybe I do white noise just to kind of be measured and balanced, right? Well, next turn we're, talking, we're not taking any damage for next turn. It's the, I want to try to avoid some damage this turn, so the best case scenario right now would be drawn to reinforce body. That's like a crapshoot. But double, ele double electro dynamics is like it's a lot of damage. I'm just taking a big hit though. A really big hit. I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, it's fine. Okay. We can heal up. It's fine. Hello World's really good here. I really want to play Powers. I want to rebound Reinforced Body for next turn. I want to stall a little bit so I can heal up. Exactly. But yeah, I want to... I want to hologram rebound Reinforced Body for next turn. I don't, I don't want to come too fast, but I also want to speed up because Body's Cog is ticking. I do want to speed up. Can't wait to eat, guys. Man, I was supposed to play another game after this, but, like, it's been five hours. Dinner is ready. And I'm hungry. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking about the future already. I should have done, I should have done Blizzard first. Form is really nice. Oh. Yeah, my hair was dyed for charity. We raised uh, 3550 for homelessness. And one of the incentives was to dye my hair. And we had not got a weekend one yet. Nope. I'm the best watcher in this part of Florida. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go ahead and play this. Now let's get it some more healing if we can. Bias is ticking away. Double buffer is big booty slapper. More zaps, why not? 
Just do some pent up stuff if we want to. I mean, that guy's already dead. Let's do some more echo forms. Another bias because why not? And we're getting close to healing up, so let's uh our whole goal right now is just to heal, 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 heal. Heal, 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 heal. And that's the healing we're talking about. We want to get instance like I guess instance are like four would be fine too. We should probably end the fight now. Let's try to end the fight if we can for instance. Probably perfectly fine instance right here. And we're full life, which is crazy. And we're stacking a pendant, which is crazy because leaving pendant at nine, I guess, is useful, but it might just be better to have pendant at like. Eight for the cheeky little rebound stuff. Uh, we'll just do this nine. So we have full life, and some stacked, pen up stacked. All right, let's go. Uh, weekend will be pretty bad, huh? Lo and behold. Okay, now there is a world, very dark, seedy world, um, that people don't really want to go to, where creative AI against awaken one first phase, totally doable. And in order for that world to be true. I would need creative AI. Okay, on average, it's really bad, so we can't do it. Well, what, what's most important here is bias, cog, and core search. It's the most important thing. And electrodynamics to get rid of the cultists. But if we can manage to do kill the cultists without electrodynamics, even better, because all we need really is bias and core search as a must. And then moving forward, the quicker we kill this phase. Um, phase two, we can just do power spam and win, all right? So let's go ahead and try to draw bias core search. First and foremost, I lied. The other power you would like to play is echo form. Now what echo form does here is doubles everything, which is fantastic, first off. Second off, there's potential for double core search, double bias. And that's fantastic. So we, we, we do play Echo Form here. That changes things drastically. I mean, Echo by itself is just the nuts. Okay. So you always end in Reinforced Body, so you're fine. So you could look to draw here. But if I'm looking to draw, what am I trying to draw here with no energy? If I do reboot, that means I'm looking for electrodynamics. Or if I do reboot, I'm looking for core surge biased, right? Which is taking away the fact that the even reverse body we want to end the turn with, but also taking away the fact that we are looking for potentially echo form stuff. But anyways, let me see. I could do this to check the power, sure. Sure. Absolutely. I could just do this just to get the damage. Do I have a better attack? My better attack is probably like Strike Plus or Corsair's Plus. I could just do this attack just because he has Bag of Marbles. And try to get as much damage as I can. Um, okay. Calipers, why, why didn't you just show yourself? So we got double biased. But what we really wanted was double core search. We get creative AI. I think maybe creative AI is totally fine here. I mean, I don't need to play it right now. I don't need to play. It. I mean, we got echo form, creative AI, echo form. Like I could, I could outscale this fight. But I think the first thing we want to do is just get bias core search out and then we just move from there. Mm. 
Hmm, I would love to do machine learning as well. Until I get bias coursers out and like loop things, I can't really justify playing these powers. I can't get double coursers this turn because Echo Arm's already used. I'm debating whether or not I want to play Creative AI or not. Because Creative AI, if it gives me defrag, obviously it's good. No, I don't need to do Creative AI. That's unnecessary strength. I could do all for one though to start doing damage though. I think we should just focus on doing damage here. Kill the minions if we can. Hmm. We could uh, I could have done reboot here to try to get core surge, but I want ideally a double core surge. So that's why I'm not playing it. And I think I'd rather do like hologram now just to get full full zap because I want to get all lightning as I can so I can kill the minions. And once the minions are done, I can go on frost. But having some frost for when I get bias core out is pretty important. So we want to keep some frost. And also keeping hologram for potentially later on for double recursion is pretty good. So it's just kind of a pass here. What's up, Trago? How you been? Uh, was, like I said, okay. This is a tough turn. So we have double questions next turn. Um, okay. No, I, I want to keep frost though. I want to keep frost. I mean, I guess I technically could have done zap like in that order differently, but I actually like that keep frost here because it'd be nice to have frost for core surge. And in this situation, we get all our frost back. We still haven't found bias though. And we haven't found core surge bias. Look, I haven't had a moment to read, but otherwise, good. I'm glad you're here. You're alive. You're at least you're breathing. It takes a little bit longer, yeah, but that's why the runs are pretty long. Uh, so Electro basically gives me 15 block. So Electro, here's what Electro does: it kills the minion, so it, it stops 11 damage. Okay, and then it gives me 15 block for evoking the frost, but it, technically it only gives me nine more block because this, this this frost right here was already going to be six passive, right? So I get nine more block, but then I'm giving him a power so he does eight more damage, so that I'm getting one more block for playing electro. But it kills the minion, so I get 12 more block by playing electro. On this turn, electro gives me 12 block. Doesn't kill. Then I'll do explosive pot. <laughs> explosive pot guarantees the kill. I get healing off of that. Not worth. Not worth all the other turns. So like, on the future turns, he's gonna be doing eight extra damage. Uh, for right now, it gives me twelve more effective block. But for the future turns, it's pretty bad. Um, we finally double core surge. Double Corsair Double Bias, so we just gotta stall and get Double Corsair Double Bias. The one problem here is that Double Corsair can't be applied on the minion because the minion dies. But Rebound exists. Okay, Rebound exists. I really wanna get Double Corsair because I think Double Bias is just so strong. The problem with Double Bias though, it, like, it gives him 16, uh, 16 extra damage on the multi-hits in place of, I guess, 24 extra block. So it works out. So double core charge is just worth it. It just works out. And now we gotta just, uh, we don't have weaken. Uh, I just want as much block as possible. All right, so double, double, uh, so, if I can, like, in a world, just not draw, so I could do, I could do beam cell re rebound on the reinforced body, that's really good. I want to maybe draw one BS bias right now? Okay, so that means, like, I'm, I'm getting close to drawing reinforced, I'm getting close and close to drawing bias, right? So, what I want to do is, beam cell rebound reinforced body. I mean, you also want to do damage here, right? 
The do it's called Slaver's Color. It gives you energy in Boston Levites. Okay. How much do I remember from my undergrad degree? Give me a sec. Like, this is good. This is my best damage cards for balling and stuff like that. I kind of want a pendant to that. I want a pendant to this so bad. I guess we're just some frost, which the frost is going to be pretty important. We're going to do double bias, hopefully, next turn. But the most important thing right now is to reinforce, to rebound the reinforced. Also, I know I said I wanted to go faster, but like I'm trying to win and then I'm thinking about everything. Like somehow I'm just thinking about things and I should stop thinking. God, why am I thinking? I can't. St so doing rebound next turn is not bad. And this is actually optimal because we get rebound next turn, so rebound reinforced body again. And that's like so amazing. You might want to tell your mom about it. <laughs> so we do rebound twice and then reinforce body. <laughs> Alright, so we don't got double bias, but that doesn't matter because we have rebound reinforced body yet again. Not to mention we're doing some good damage. Wait, do I have two terms of re No, it doesn't work that way. Double bias, please, double bias, please, double bias, please, double bias, please. Okay, so we do double charge battery then. Or just like next turn we take not no damage. So next turn. Let it be a multi-hit next turn. I'd rather stack a pendant and do damage. And once double bias is out, oh, I took damage. What, is, what am I doing? There it is. Okay. So he has eight strength, but we've got eight focus. Only problem is next turn, I have shit all in terms of block. And the only saving grip is reboots. Yikes. And now here's where I want Creative AI to get capacitors and to get loops and stuff like that. But this is worth it because I gave him 16 extra damage on the multi-hit, but I gained 24 extra block. So it's positive for me. We just need people to come out strong here. And then we just gotta do as much damage as possible. Okay, reboot. There's also Offer One. Wait, so Offer One can bring back Steam Barriers. And Zap. You're doing Waste Echo Form, but gives me better draws. I like the hand. Uh, I got this one instead. Fine. Okay. So, small price to pay. We can heal this up. Remember that 6 damage sucks, but we heal it up. We really need to start. Like. Fuck, since we have to keep our frost. Uh, it's kind of hard to do ball lightning. Since I have to keep my frost and I don't have like a glacier. Wait, this is looking really bad. Do I do creative AI and just hope to find like capacitors and loops and stuff? We have cool stuff and cool headed. Yes. Reinforced body coming up as well. Okay, so I could afford to do this. Oh, I need as much damage as I can. I need drawn to reinforce body. That's a thing that exists, yeah? Horse K with the Twitch Prime. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Too much streak. Uh, if we draw six cards, we're likely to find some Frost and Bringing Force Body. Or am I crazy? There it is. All right, so... How much energy do I need? So I have 10 block, right? If I were to... Do more 56 damage? So 56 damage. Okay, cool. Cool head, it gives me 13 block. So 23 block. Okay. 
Let's need 36. So all I need to do is to end with two energy. That's awkward. Do I want to bring Reaper's body back next turn? Not really. I just want to play this because I because I just want to like have damage. I just want to play it. I've been making sure to rebound on the cool headed though. But this gives me my frost back. Okay, so I can do double zap. Then nah, I should play double frost, right? But do I want to do double zap? Maybe. Maybe I do want to do double zap. Or I can just do double cool headed. Instead, double cool snap instead of me. Give me a sec, one second. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, I'm glad you couldn't hear what I was saying because next turn I'm intangible. And I was thinking about all these things that did not take into account to intangible. So thank God you couldn't hear what I was saying. But uh, I would like to keep the frost, but I'm intangible. So I can go ahead and do damage. Get the frost back now. And I said it's really important that I do damage because as soon as I get to the next phase, it's just creative AI. Creative AI galore, guys. It's creative AI power healing galore. So we gotta get to the next phase ASAP. Look at all these powers we can play, and then the sky is the limit. It's gotta kill this guy ASAP. So that means I wanted to offer one now just to get the uh I guess I could do ball lightning. So what if I do ball lightning? What if I do this? What if I do like Looks like next I'm trying to push for lethal, right? So next turn, if I do hologram, I could do ball lightning, beam cell. Sorry, I can do hologram, beam cell, hologram, ball lightning, and then I have vulnerable pendant to ball lightning. And then I have an all for one. For more damage, and then next turn I have a lot more damage coming up. More powers. Crazy. Okay, he's dead. This is good. This is really good. Now we just gotta play all our powers. Play all our powers. Okay. I really want to get the frost out. Okay, let me do the math. So if I do frost, I have 10 block, right? So 20 block this. That means all I need to do is have three energy. I can end that one. So I could do double machine to get more card draw, which gives me access to draw more, more powers. Or I could just get double frost, which is probably better. Double frost is probably better, so I don't take damage. I mean, can you double machine learning? Sure. But I also kind of want more frost, so let me see. Because my next turn is kind of bad, so I guess drawing more would be nice. What the hell are you guys talking about? Whoppers, whoopers, and poop. Oh, you got to talk about Pokemon? Mm, yikes. I can do double frost just to be safe, and then keep uh, only have one machine learning. Could do that. Play all the powers to go back up and get instance at four. There's creative AI. So double creative AI is crazy, huh? Rebound reinforced body. Like, tell me how good rebound reinforced body is. Like, Jesus Christ, that's a slapper. Wow, look at these powers. Echo form. Times two, loop, reinforced bodies. I want all these cards, but okay. So we're looking at 54 damage. I think I might just succumb to doing loop and reinforced body here. But wait, if I do uh, double echo, I could do a reinforced body twice, right? 
What's up, Pablo? If I do double echo, I can do loop twice and then reinforce twice, right? Which means this is going to be 36 block. 36 blocks plus 10 is 46 block, which means I'm going to be taking some damage, but I can heal that back up. Uh, so yes, I could do the loop and then reinforce. I'll take some damage, but I can heal back up, no problem. I to mention that Birdfish Run makes you, like, get some some block from that. Alright, so now we should not be able to lose. Oh. Wow. It almost feels like too much. I'm almost overwhelmed. That's gonna be five echo forms. I mean, I guess. So now I gotta slow down. Cause I gotta end the instance at four and I need to heal as well. So. I think I got to get rid of some of these uh, zaps because I want to slow down so I can do incense at four and heal up. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these zappy zaps. What if I slows down by getting rid of my uh, lightning? But then all I got to do is take this off loop first off. Then all I gotta do after that point is, um, well, I'm at a good pace. I'm at a pace for like killing my turn four, right? Is the loop too much? 30 damage, 45 damage a turn. It's a little too much. So let's get it off that. Let's get it off that. Um, how do we do that? Because <laughs> if I play Zap, I play cards twice. So I need a. How do I get. One, two, three. I need to play five cards before I can play Zap. So I need to do buffer, buffer. Okay, so let's just think about it. One, two, three. Four, five, Zap. It's not right on time because this does 45, 45. Oh, I guess it's not bad because he also is healing for 15, so he's gonna... I want to loop anyways. Imagine calipers. All right, and now we just got. Uh, we're gonna kill them on the. Um, electrodynamics coming up, right? Do I want to get rid of pendant? I should probably keep pendant, huh? I want to hit it by four exactly. That's what I'm doing. So Electrodynamics just wins the fight, and we're already full life. So we have another Electrodynamics to win the fight next turn. And I want to keep Penib as is. Uh, Electrodynamics next turn should just win. I want to make sure that's a thing, because... Yeah. One. Two. Three. Kill.
Okay, Act 4. Can't believe we didn't get calipers. What are we upgrading? Upgrading biased. I, I don't, I, I retired this game after this, my last game, ever. What, what, like, what an ass. So I could have saved money, right? Alright, let's think about this. I spent 100 gold to remove. I wouldn't have had enough money anyways. Okay. So the capacitor's pretty good, though. Capacitor duplication pot? Game over? Well, we do have Chemical X, so how is my multicast looking? We do have Chemical X. Multicast could be pretty nice. But I feel like duplication pot capacitor is really good. Well, if I save money for Calibers Act 4 shop, I said there was no way I can make $319. Like, if I don't remove it, I don't even make it that there anyways. Well, the cast is like, it's potentially good, with X cost card, but I think, okay. We, we, we're just happy with the way the deck's working. I want to draw into all these things the way I've been doing. Only difference is, I think I'm okay with adding a capacitor. Like, that card seems fine. One thing to note, we've been doing echo form things. We don't have echo form in the deck. There's core surge, so now we just look for bias cog. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. Okay. Okay, uh, well, let's plan for the heart. I'm kidding, it's not over yet, but... Electrodynamics is the next stop, and then we should be fine. Um... We need to get... We, okay, let me, let's see if we want... Do we want to turn or not? That's the question. Do we want to turn... Make sure we're taking no damage, so do we want to turn? I think I want to focus my, my energy on, on this guy right here. Is Storm worth it here? We do Storm Bias Chill. Uh, so for the heart, we want to end on three or four. Yep. In worst case scenario, you could also end on um, one. <laughs> worst case scenario, you can end on one. But mitigating the first two attacks is most important because of the vulnerable. Okay. Um... Do I, do, white, do I want to do white noise instead of uh, storm here? Or do I think storm just gives us the damage, which could help in the fight with Electro? Nice. Nice. So we have Penips. I want to kill this guy on the left as quick as possible. Wow. Nice. Okay, um, not much to say here. I could explode to kill, and then just go 1v1 against this guy and hope that it lasts two turns? Sorry, three turns? Which is doable. I lose 5 HP exploding pot, but if they drop a potion, then... Well, 
Spuddy Pot's one of the worst pots I can have for the heart. Five HP doesn't really matter. Wow. Okay. We almost did too much damage. This is a problem. So, the last thing I want to do is to end the fight next turn. God forbid I do that. That's terrible. I've done it before. Never again. But, turn after is totally fair game. So, let's just try to avoid doing too much damage. And set up a kill on the following turn. So capacitor is like, yes, it has storm, but it's doing 35 damage, which exactly what you don't want to do. Oh no, it's only doing 28, which is perfect. Because I, I, I don't have Necroform out. That's fine. And we just literally end in uh twenty eight twenty it's perfect return lethal. It's like poison in a way. I just don't do anything. And he's dead next turn. Pendant, why not? Pog. <clears throat> okay. Cheeky little last relic there. Not better than calipers, but good. I mean, Calipers is nuts, guys. I have Reinforced Body times 2 of Chemical X and all this energy. Like, Calipers is gross, but it's pretty good. Turbo Plus, a nice little branch. Here's the thing, though. I already have uh, 5 energy, and this is a dead roll. The runs are going good. We won the last run, and we're on the way to winning this run. And when we win this run, we're on a streak of 2 wins. Actually, sorry, I lied. The last one we did was an Ironclad win, right? So we're on two streak. This is going to be a three streak. Pog. Jeremiah's about to win three times in a row, which means tomorrow or the next day, wherever we come back, we have a streak to play on, which is fun. You know, it's fun to be like, hey, we're on a three streak. Let's go for some some stuff. But yeah, we're, we, 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 we're one Ironclad. We're one Silent. Now we're hopefully beat the defect. So here's the thing. Uh, what am I duplicating? I haven't won yet, exactly, I know. Let me not, let me not jinx myself. I have not won yet. Oh, dead branch. Oh, turn one. Give me something I could use. I might just die on the next turn. Um, so Blizzard's interesting. <laughs> so if I duplicate bias, I, I lose. I don't have double core search. But if I duplicate creative AI, I, that could be good. Or if, if I find an echo form or something, we never know. We're, we're, we'll know when it comes duplication pot. If I duplicate core search, I could hope for echo for bias, or I could hope for creative AI to give an extra bias. So that's not bad. Either way, I want a hologram here for energy purposes because. We had a terrible turn one. So I guess I could do a cheeky little damage cap, which gets rid of my frost. But the damage cap feels fine. Hologram is bad here because at this point we're running out of energy. So I'll just do a cheeky damage cap here. And that includes Blizzard for Pendip. You hate to see it. But we did 70 damage. Which is not insignificant. Correction, 76 damage. So buffer? Okay. So 
So there's a world, right? There's a world where incense burner. Blocks this attack instead of the multi attack. We're not living in that world. Yeah, this is life. This is the harsh reality. Face it, kid. Alright, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do I just do duplication on skin and hope to find Reaper's body? Or do I do skim? I think we just have to duplicate the skin. If I just do skim, I'm only drawing three out of a pile of 20. And Lord knows we want to make sure we find that card. And now we found the reason for duplication. On the bright side, we can heal up, right? So on the bright side, we can heal up. And once we survive these two turns, we should be able to scale quite nicely because we have core surge biased and then we have creative AI doubling and doing all that stuff. So it's really important we find reinforced body here. Nice. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be not perfect, but it's better than the damage I was taking. I, I don't want to do Electro. It doesn't do that much for me in this fight, and I really want to make sure I don't take that much damage. Electro is my last concern. I mean, okay, I could just play the second Reinforce without Energy Pot. I could do that. Or I can energy pot now. Keep in mind, I'm getting less value because I'm frail. So I can energy pot now to get um, 24 minus 22 block. That, le that leaves me at 52 minus 2, 50. I have 50 damage. I take 17 to the face. So I energy pot to save 12 more life. In this case, 10 more life because of the beat of death. But that was going to apply anyway, so 12 more life. That's our damage. We found it. Hello, Thunderstrike. Welcome to the team. We'll come back to you much later on. Because right now you're not that good. But also, it's we need we need Echo Form, please. So Hello World can give us. Hello World, not now's the time, by the way. Like, you know, your, your brother Echo Form is much nicer. But okay, Hello World gives us core snaps. Go for the eyes, beam cells, streamlines. So go for the eyes is weaken. Is Hello World Warfare just for the weaken, or is it going to clog my deck too much? I'm leaning towards the ladder, probably too much clog. But I mean, like, the cheeky go for the eyes with Hello World could be really, really good. Then. There's the Cold Snap for Frost, which is not bad once I'm skilled up a little bit. And then there's also Streamlines and Beam Cells, which are pretty bad overall. And I guess there's more Holograms. So Hello World gives us more Holograms too, which... Holograms are a pretty premium card, right, with Dead Branch? Is it though? It's more bloat. I think overall, by playing Hello World, we're going to avoid a lot of bloat. And we're not going to miss out on too much good turns. Like, the Hello World, the Beam Cell, go for the guys, all that stuff is kind of... Not guaranteed to happen, and the holograms are not even that good to find. Cold snap is probably the best thing I can find, but even that, I'd rather play reinforced body and other cool headed instead. So we can do this to see what we get. That's pretty good. I could double that later on. I don't have echo form. I'm lying. Um, that's really good though. Like holy shit, that is giving me hope. There's also hologram now just to do skin, so I could find. Cool headed and bias core search as quick as possible. Like it's just really important to find that. And I really want that ASAP. The sooner the better. That's really good. Okay. Hope. 
Triple Buffer looks really good. There's the bias. Core Surge is not quite here. How do I reconcile this? Fuck. Card draw. Mmm, the blow is real. Well, Hollywood doesn't help us draw because I don't have heat sinks. But the fact that I can't play Vice now. Okay, cool. Translation. I know. Maybe I should have not drawn. I want to scale as quick as possible, but maybe I just screw myself over. Hmm. I might have fucked myself over. Hmm. I mean, next turn is still playable. Like, next turn we're still doing Creative Eye, Core Surge, Capacitor, Cool Headed. It's still a pretty full turn. Uh, we're just gonna probably die in the following turn. But then we have two buffers in the deck, two reinforced bodies. Like, the deck has a lot of good cards. We're just we're kind of bloated, but I wish I could get the buffer as insurance here. Like, it would be amazing if I could play buffers as insurance, so I don't have to worry about the big hit on the following turn. But next turn, we, again, the like creative eye capacity core surge, they're all playable cards. I just don't have block next turn. So, I don't have block next turn. Uh, that's kind of bad. I'm gonna take damage next turn for playing all these cards. So, I'm gonna play all these cards and then gotta hope that the following turn I can do stuff. Uh, it's not looking too great. Maybe I made a mistake by doing skim too early. Because on the turn where he isn't attacking, I probably could have ensured that core surge and bias was a thing, and maybe from there we can win. I was just trying to speed up time. Uh, I'm losing a little bit of focus here, so I gotta focus up. It's the most important fight here. I wanted the damage, but like this damage is all significant, right? And there's never a world where you're playing Hollow World because. We just discussed that it's probably more blood than anything. Um, but it is more cards. You, like, it is more cool headed as well. I guess I'd rather get my focus first. This is like the last power I want to play. And I had two buffers in the deck. I just got to hope that we draw into them when it counts. And I feel like all this damage is like nine damage, four damage. It's all insignificant for. Take two extra damage. I take two extra life for, to play these cards. So damage is the next thing we're gonna have to worry about. But okay, what's really unfortunate is that the bias here. Damn. Okay. So we do capacitor first. So we could we can kind of uh, dictate. Um. If we do Core Surge Rebound, and then play Capacitor, it's a 50% chance to hit Creative AI. Doing all this takes a lot of my life away, and it's I don't even have Bias Core Surge out, so like... It looks like we're just kind of dying to multi-hits, unfortunately. Damn. Kind of fucked up this fight, didn't I? I'm taking 4 damage though. Yeah, I think last turn we didn't have to like push, rush bias, I don't think. I think maybe last turn we didn't have to skim at all. We just kind of pass and sure I felt like I was on the clock, but maybe just guarantee course rush bias is much better than not having that. Um, but yeah, I think we want to dictate 50% um, chance here. 
It's not bad. Wanna just play this? See what we get. I'd rather draw first. Get the burns out of the way. We can do dark to get damage, but like how much am I taking to get the dark out? You know? I get Doom and Gloom just to get damage scaling, but we're kind of in a bad situation. At least we got two of our statuses out of the way. It means we're more likely to find buffer or reinforced body. Okay, so we found Reinforced Body, which is really good. We also got Defrag, which is really nice. Okay. So, Defrag... is free to play, essentially, because of the, um... <coughs> Burface. Reinforced Body now, on a turn like this, is so crucial, because... We have two buffers in the deck to handle the, the big hit. So this is really, really... Like, it's amazing that we got reinforced on this turn. Okay. I kind of want to draw. So I'm taking some damage, but... Like, I, I still really want to find... Oh, re Thunder Strike is free. I still really want to find... Wait, technically I could do reinforce, then FTR, right? So let me see. He's doing 60 damage, right? To so reinforce now, if I just play it... 56 block, 56 block minus 2 is 54, 54 plus 6 is 60 block exactly. If I end with reinforced, 60 block exactly. Now I could do like FTL and Thunderstrike to get some extra damage. Or FTL maybe to help draw. We have two blizzards from from Dead Branch. So Dead Branch has given us two buffers, but also two blizzards and a scrape and a hella world. From White Noise, right? So we got. Four relatively dead cards. Two really good cards. Not, not the end of the world. We also got Barrage. We got like, eh, like maybe five dead cards. Drawing my buffer would be kind of bad, right? I'll just play this now. Let's have full block. Hmm. Why am I holding my energy pot? Is this a good turn to do energy pot? Do I do energy pot here so I can play uh, electro dynamics? Do I do energy reinforce so I can play electro, get it out of the deck? And do FTL thunder strike? For damage? Should I just energy pot now? Like what am I holding on for? I'm holding on for turns where I might need it for skim or whatever. But like, I can get electro dynamics out of the deck. It does more damage with thunder strike. So, like, why not just do Energy Pot here? Or I can save it for Buffer next turn. So, yeah, like, Energy Pot for Buffer next turn when I might need it. Or, you know, the skims or whatever. Yeah, sure. That, that's kind of, but also, getting Electro and Thunder Strike out is not insignificant. Wait. Jeremy. Oh, my God. Sorry, my brain's fried. Ah, <sighs> unfortunate. I literally just talked about it, and that's why. Okay, so we got buffer. This is great. This is great. This is great. This is fine. Where did this hello world? Oh my god. Okay, so I do want to draw. I mean, technically, I could do reinforced body and save buffer as well. I don't know how useful that is. I know, it's the worst when I tell you exactly what I'm going to do and I do the exact opposite. It's the worst. I can hollow Electro so we don't feel as bad what happens. And we can get it out of the deck and we can play Buffer. Or we can hologram Reinforced Body. Play Buffer and full block. But why would I may as well Buffer this when I could save Buffer for the next big attack? Because if I buffer this turn, I'm wasting look six energy. I could do electro to get damage going though, and get that power out of my deck and get the damage going. I could do that. So I get electro out of the deck. Um, it could waste it on the multi hit shirt. So there's a fifty percent chance they waste it on the multi hit anyways. Absolutely. There's also a world where Buffer saves me from the next multi-hit. 
The instant burn covers the next attack. But we also have another buffer in the deck. I mean, it's probably more proactive to get extra damage out. Out of the deck. And... Oh, we really need to draw this bias cognition, man. Is there ever a world where we're just, like, doing cool-headed here instead? Like, we really need to see bias out, man. Holy shit. Should we just do cool-headed? Like, I don't know if I want to necessarily ruin the buffer, because, like, like I said, I could save it. It could hit big on the multi-hit, and then we have instant burner for the next attack. And because we're so slow with bias, it seems pretty important to, like, maybe try to take as many sh uh, things that can save me as possible. I don't have skim here, but I could do cool-headed and draw into skim. The alternative is to full block with reinforced body and play buffer anyways. I wonder what is better. Hint, forward forward punch. Um, this is also kind of de decent damage, right? That's not bad. Cheeky. Cheeky 20 damage. Okay. I'm still trying to keep damage in mind. Um, I wonder if pushing for bias is again the play. I wonder if that's the play. Or if we're saving buffer. Let me see. So if I were to do hologram on reinforced body, I play reinforced body. I, I do buffer. So then I'm left with three. So five forty-five. We have full block reinforced body. I mean that is a cool play. And maybe we have enough time next turn to find. We have skim and quite in the deck. We probably enough time to find biased. I think I'm gonna do that, guys. I think I'm gonna go for hologram buffer reinforced body. Just get full block, save buffer. Now the buffer could be used. Could be wasted on a mult on um. Buffer could be wasted on Beat of Death. So it could be wasted on Beat of Death. It also could be wasted on a multi-hit. That's that's the chance I'd take. Now what am I giving up for that? I'm giving up the... Getting Electro out of the deck. I'm giving out the damage that Electro's gonna do. So I'm giving up getting this out of the deck and doing the damage. That's what I'm giving up. But I'm also potentially surviving the next big hit. If I don't manage to screw up the buffer with the Beat of Death... Or I can just lose it to multi-hit. But I think it's still a worthwhile chance. Is getting Electro out for damage that much more important? There's a second buffer in the deck. But I don't know. Like I'm so low in life that this buffer might just be what I need. If I have the potential to full block, I feel like I should take it. Intellectual can hit buffer from effect. Should we, should, we be, should we still be able to get out that, get that out to block this? So there's a world where you can do this. There's a world where you get Electro, and you play Hello World, Hello World, Electro, and Mumford Hand should hit buffer. So you play Defense, buffer. That means you're getting all your powers out, you're playing your whole hand, you get Electro and buffer out. So you lose buffer, but you get Electro out, and then you also get Hello World out, which is bloating your deck, which is pretty bad. Uh, I, th I think full block and keep buffer. And I'll save Electro for when I have Bias. We got Glacier. Wow, that's crazy. Could play one barrage <laughs> for damage. Well, no, no, I can't. That's biased. So we drew reinforced body now, but we have another buffer coming up, and it does like that we drove reinforced body now. But we, at least we got biased out. Wait, is that another hello world? All right, I'm ready to say goodbye world. And so we're, we're gonna pretend we have calipers and we're gonna play re no. Um, <clears throat> okay. Well, let's get some damage in. I wonder if I should be playing Hello Worlds at this point. 
next turn sucks. If it's multi-hit. Next turn sucks if it's multi-hit because we got reinforced now. So I'm really hoping next turn is not multi-hit. Okay. We got another buffer. So these buffers are really cool. Except for the fact that next turn is a multi-hit. Which is actually really good. That means I can keep the buffers because the frost covers the multi hit with instant burner. So I just keep these buffers. And maybe that buys us enough time for the big hits. All we gotta do is survive this multi hits. And the multi hits are gonna be the biggest threat, anyways. Like the multi hits are what kills us on the next couple attacks. So this is not, not, not this multi hit that's coming up, but like the next multi hit after is really dangerous. So we need to start doing damage. So I'm gonna get ball landing out here. And we're gonna let Buffer take this hit. I'm probably just gonna play. Okay. I would love to do this, but it gets rid of one of my buffers, which I'd rather not do. Another hell of a world. Wow. Okay, so. How are we pushing for damage now? That's the question. No, if, if, if I didn't have the block to play because of the uh, beat of death, but I'm saying if my hand was generous, I think I just passed to save my buffer, but then I'm not playing. I'm not playing machine learning, which seems like a problem. I'm also wasting all this damage. These hello worlds are clogging me so so much. It's crazy. Damn. Like I technically could just get rid of the buffer now, but I want to keep it for the next big hit. We do have another buffer in the deck. Um and I think by getting rid of this buffer now, you're basically saying I'd much rather just play cards here. So like saving the buffer versus not using six energy and doing things like playing strikes, attacks, doing something. I just gotta push for damage. So I just gotta lose the buffer here, unfortunately. I can pen up Thunder Strike, which is pretty good. And then I can even do Thunder Strike again next turn. And now I'm kind of wishing I did Electro Dynamics that turn. Because then this would have been, uh, you know, nine times, and then next turn would have been even more. So that could be my damage for the fight. And I told you this would be my damage for the fight. It's gonna come back to me. Ideally, want to draw into a block so that I'm not just taking one to the face. But maybe it's a small price to pay. Just do like machine learning rebound thunder strike, and we're doing thunder strike for the pendant, but then damage next turn as well. Is that how we're doing damage? And we just gotta hope the reinforced body is drawn for when he has um, the multi hit. Because the big hit's kind of manageable, it's the multi hit that sucks. So that's decent damage. Um, I'll do it again next turn without pendant. I got defrag. So I can do like auto shields defrag. Do another 40 something damage. I mean, that's pushing damage, certainly. That means we're drawing into two reinforced bodies, we're drawing into buffer. So we have a lot of tools coming up. It's really imperative that we draw reinforced body for the multi hits. Our damage is a little slow. Are we ever playing Glacier here? Are we ever playing Glacier here to uh to basically get lighting up to the front so that we can potentially knock it off with cool headed? Or we we like this lightning, don't we? Glacier basically means that 
I can more easily get full frost with Cool Headed next turn. So to get passive block going. We don't have a loop or anything like that. Did we just finally play Hello World? I could do Glacier, Hello World, Auto, uh, Thunderstrike. I do have, Blizz I have Blizz the Blizzards are also in the deck, so Blizzard gets scaled up, and maybe that damage is not insignificant. The Blizzard scaling. And does that mean I'm finally playing Hello World? <laughs> to what? No, so the next multi-hit is what's gonna kill it. We desperately need to get Marine Force Body for the next multi-hit. Desperately. Hello World could give us, like, Cool-Headed. As, like, I guess a Hologram as well. Mm, I remember just play Glacier Hollow World to get Blizzard Scaling. Get them Strike for free. I don't need to turbo at all because I can just do Glacier Hollow World and get Thunder Strike. Unless you want to simply not play Hollow World and we just do Glacier Turbo Thunder Strike. Sure. But is the Void worse than whatever Hollow World is doing? The fight's not going to last long enough for Hollow World to blow me that much. I mean, it will. But we have like. We have 19 cards to draw into. And we ideally want to try to end the fight between these next 19 cards or at least one more turn after. So. It's really not that good of damage though, unfortunately. But Hello World giving me the cheeky little... So this is really good because we have two reinforced bodies coming up for the multi-hit. And it's really important. We have Electrodynamics not to push for damage. We have a defrag as well. Okay. I kind of want to draw, look for buffer, but I don't want to draw into reinforced bodies. I mean, I want to draw into buffer, but at this point we're preoccupied playing like all our powers with defrag and stuff like that because we're trying to do as much damage as possible. And next turn we want to draw reinforce body. I don't even know if next turn we have enough block, honestly. Is he doing 90 damage next turn? I guess the question is how much block do we have here? I think we have enough block here for this attack without buffer. Next turn he's doing 90 damage. Oh, you, you're he's doing 8 times 15 next turn? Ah, uh, he's doing 8 times, yeah, you're right, because he starts off with 2. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Is there a way we can try to push for damage? Can we get enough damage to do this? There's never a way we have 300 damage in two turns. But we do have like passive frost. I mean, how are we going to survive that much damage? We don't have a weaken. How do we ever survive the most damage? I don't even know if we can survive next turn. Hmm. It's gotta push for damage here though.
If, we, if there's somehow we can survive next turn, we can win. And Reaper's part doesn't do it alone. I don't think we could have won. I think our deck was too slow, but I also I think I played this fight really bad. God, six hours is hard to focus at the end. I think I think I make I remember making like one or two mistakes here. Strike's not worth it here. It's probably just lose next turn. So Was there a world where I could have gotten lethal? So what is Thunderstrike at right now? So we have 55 damage. Is this me? Okay, so this is a triple plus, right? What's a triple plus? Wasn't there a triple plus? I don't have triple plus? Okay. So if I hologram for turbo, turbo is going to be 8, 10. 10 times 9 is 90. So 90 block, but I lose 3, I get 87 block. But in order to play turbo, I lose 3 life. So hologram at play. Okay. Then, turbo, I lose 3 life. And then I play reinforce, I get 90, but I get 87 block. But I'm negative 3, so I'm 87 block plus 31 life. So I'm just short. Turbo means I'm just short, because if, in order to play it, I lose life. Now, if I do holler and I get turbo from that, this, so what's a way to win? Holler Glacier is how much block? So Glacier is going to be 7 plus 2 Frost is 20 block, right? So for 2 energy from Glacier, we're getting 27 block. Minus 3, so 24 block. And then when we play Reinforced Body for 5 energy, it's 45 plus 24. So I can't hollow, I can't reinforce hollow reinforce because once I play reinforce, I don't have energy for hologram. So wait, if I do glacier, I get 27, but 24 because of the beat, right? And this is 45. So 69 block. If I had energy pot, I energy pot reinforce we just survive. If I do turbo, which is probably my best bet, I die by 3 HP. Now there's a world we could have won for lethal, but I actually can't do lethal now because he, the damage cap is not enough. So if I did a little extra damage, but Thunderstrike is actually a lot of damage. So Thunderstrike is huge damage, plus I do 55 at the end of turn. And I don't have Static Discharge. If I had Static Discharge, this could be doable, because Static Discharge means he can kill himself. But since... Like, lethal is close, but not an option, unfortunately. I think the only thing I could do is... I need to... Hologram needs to hit... Turbo twice. I save that block and hollow for damage this turn. Just save that block and hollow for damage this turn. Uh, no, I need to block this turn. Well, the thing is, I think if I did electro, remember that turn where I did energy pot and I wasted some of the energy by over blocking and not playing electro. 
literally cost the run actually. Because I wasted energy, so the energy bar didn't get used. I didn't get the damage going, so Electro did wart less damage, and I didn't get Thunder Strike more damage. All that's really significant because yes, I got more damage out of Electro. With bias, but Electro was kind of bad here because I ended up getting rid of my frost. If I kept my frost, maybe I survived this one with Reinforced Body. Yeah, but Electro definitely um would have got it out of my deck, and then I would have Thunder would have been better, and we could have had even lethal this turn. Anyways, I think Hologram has to save us a dead branch because if I turbo, I've got. 81 block. Actually, I only have 81 block. I lied. I only have 81 block because I forgot hologram cost something. So only 81 block, but minus three. We don't even have as much as I thought. So the only thing I need to do. So what needs to happen is I need a hologram. I need to hit static discharge. So then what happens is static discharge applies for next turn, right? So then I need to do thunder strike, barrage. Hologram has to hit Static Discharge. <laughs> yeah, we're not happy that Fire Oak didn't help, of course. But I think that one turn where I wasted Energy Pot, I was supposed to play Electro first and then get the block. I overblocked and I didn't get the full value out of the thing. And getting the Electro out would have been pushing for damage and make Thunder Strike better. And I think that makes all the difference. But anyways, I think Static Discharge is only out here, right? Well, it does because Thunder Strike plus 55 damage right now. No, I'm not gonna block though. I'm saying, and the, uh, since I can't block, we, I think we determined we can't block. Nah, cooler stuff because hologram negative block, so, and then I'm five energy. And if I put turbo, I'm back up to seven energy. Seven plus two is nine. Nine times nine is 81 block. All right, but turbo costs three, so I'm at, I'm at uh, 80, sorry, I'm at 78 block. And then playing this costs three, so I'm at 75 block. So 75 plus uh, 31 is not enough, or 75 plus 34 is not enough. Um, so, that branch has to save us in general because if we get static charge, then we can actually get lethal, I'm pretty sure. So then I, I did Glacier as well. So we do Glacier, Glacier is 27 block. Alright, then we're down. So when we play Hologram, we're at 5 energy. Glacier, we're down at 3 energy. And Glacier is 24 block minus 3. It's 27 but minus 3 is 24. And we play this for 5 energy. So it's going to be 3 energy but plus 2. So 5. It's going to be 45 block minus 3 is 42. 42 plus 24 is 66. So less block. I'm pretty sure Thunder Strike would be lethal, but we just need Static Discharge to do the extra. And the only reason why we need to do the extra is because we didn't hit the damage cap. It's because we didn't push for damage properly. Fuck, I fucked this fight up 100%. Um. So I guess Hologram is the only out here. Hologram needs to hit Static Discharge for lethal or a Reinforced Body. I really do wish Thunder Strike would tell me how many things I've channeled because I'm trying to calculate lethal and I think Thunder Strike is pretty important for lethal here. There's another world where we do this, guys. We do Hologram for Skim. So then, I mean, think about Skim here, all right? So we do Skim, we lose three life, we're at 31. And then we play Reinforced Body for 4 energy plus 2 is going to be 6 times 9 plus another Reinforced Body for 18. So, okay, let's do the math there. Ah, uh, fuck, okay. So, in total we're going to have 8 times 9 but minus 6. It's just worse overall.
Yeah, guys, I already, sorry, guys, I already ran through that line. <clears throat> that's 81 block, but all that's minus 3. So, it's more than 81 block, sorry. It's, uh... No, it's 81 block. And that's all that minus 3. We have to, we have to get 87 block. Um, so, the next play is Hologram Skim. Right? Skim draws into Steam Barrier, so... Uh, let's take a look. So, we get... Fuck. Six, eight, eight, eight times nine, 72, 72 minus six, 64 plus one, 65. That's even worse. It's even worse. Hologram skin is even worse. Um, I think it is half a hologram. What if I do cool headed? So if I do cool headed, cool headed hits reinforced body. Okay. So cool headed minus three. But it gives me 10 block for playing it. But maybe Cool Head is play. So it gives you 10 block for playing it. So, then my, so okay. Let's think about this 72 plus 10 is 82. Minus 3, 79. Even Cool Head is not enough. Because Cool Headed is not enough. They're both upgraded, but so so look at it this way. If I draw into reinforced body after cool headed, I'm gonna have um, four energy, right? Which means reinforced body is gonna be six, but you can effectively add the extra two, so it's gonna be eight. It's gonna be nine times eight, right? Which is seventy-two. I'll do the math for you guys. So you, but since you played two reinforced bodies, you're minus six, all right? So you're at sixty-four. Sorry, you're at 60, um, 66, 66, but then if you play cool headed, you're getting 10 block from playing that, so then you're at 76, but, but playing cool headed, you're getting minus 3, so you're at 73. Playing that before they would have saved this year. Uh, yes. Well, also, I really messed up that play with Electro. I'm pretty sure because I overblocked and I needed all the damage. I really messed that up, but it's okay. <sighs> uh, trying to think if there's another out. Sorry, there's like um, there might be an out here. Like, don't don't neglect the plus one from Steam Bear. So perfect world plus one from Steam Bear. So we have in total 73, 74 block. Still not enough. I think the bigger play maybe was getting rid of all my frost last turn. I think the I think so turbo is is we quite a more block than uh, turbo, right? We decided quite is more block than turbo because turbo is um there's a world where we get an extra turbo from... But well, we just decided that Kuwait is more block, right? If Only if it draws into reinforced body, otherwise it doesn't matter, but... No, but Kuwait cool gives us the Frost plus the extra reinforced, which is plus two more reinforced. Ah, uh, okay. So, 11 times 9 is 99, minus 9 is 90. Did we just do it? Let me double check. 
Turbo Turbo is 99 block minus 9 is 90. We needed 87 to survive. They're doing 120. 87 technically right now is one extra life than I need. So this is going to be minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 to 90. 9 minus 9. I'm pretty sure the map's correct. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, so we're pushing for damage now. So what's the best way to get lethal here? So... What's the best way to get lethal? FTO after charge battery. Okay. I just reinforce turbo and then play cards, but there's like just wins, yes, but we have a lot of cards to get through. Um I could just do reinforce body then turbo ball. I could do reinforce body then turbo ball zap coeded and then well, okay. Uh, we have a lot of ways to get lethal, but they're not guaranteed. They're not guaranteed, so... Right now we have 110 damage from the next two turns. If we do this, we're adding an extra 16 plus 7, so we're adding an extra 23 plus another 16. So we're adding 23 plus 16 is 39. So we have 149 damage. I should get one damage next turn, and we have one damage from Mercury Hourglass, we just win. It's just guaranteed lethal. And then, so we have 55 here, 55 again, and then we, Mercury Hourglass just wins. And to really swag it out. And I mean really swag this out. With Thunder Strike him. But it was lethal guaranteed anyways. You know what's funny? You know what's hilarious though guys? I could have buffered this and then next turn I'm intangible. Do you want to end with 1 HP? I'm scared I'm gonna fuck myself over. Uh, I'm just gonna play this. <laughs> but, so basically we have Bruffer for that turn and then we have Intention for the next turn. That's crazy. That turbo, oh my god. What makes it sweeter, guys, is that we're 3-0, Ascension 20. So I thought I fucked it up, but we really just got 3-0 streak on Ascension 20. And that's kind of nice that that turbo RNG gave it to us. It's hilarious how crazy that is.